I do believe we are live. Yes, we are. <laughs> are you trying to say we're live or are we three quarters live? I'd say we're about 10% there. That's the joke. Oh, this is the <laughs> joke. You suck, McBain. Blam, blam. No. <laughs> Man, did, did uh, McBain ever get, like, deaded at any point? No. No? Mm. No. It's gonna be he killed people. a lot of people, though. <laughs> We are getting ready for another Linux Gamecast Weekly. You know it, you love it. It's going to be hot. It's going to be cold. It's going to be mild and soggy. Mm, it's already warm, very soggy. Warm and soggy. Just like Grandma. I'm going to leave that one alone. Good on you, mate. Good on I, you. I don't know what you do with your grandma. That's your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, warm and soggy grandma. Uh -huh. I've had it. With your non-soggy grandma elitism. <laughs> your cold and non-soggy grandma. <laughs> your cold, dry grandma. You Canadians with your frigid grandmas <laughs> lording over Hello, us. Hello, Linda. <laughs> if you just tuned in, it's your fault, man. Come on. <laughs> you kind of walked into the, that one you all did. by yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't get any better. It's not odd to the people. <laughs> It, it gets steadily worse. Mm -hmm. We peaked right then, downhill. <laughs> Pedro, have you tweeted that we are live so I can steal your tweet? Yes. <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything clever to write about, so I just wrote, yeah, we're live. <laughs> hey. Receive comment. Mm. There we go. See, that's how you tweet, Pedro. <laughs> Did you just write yes? <laughs> because test man, YouTube. Oh, sucks. clever thing goes here. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, you are not a verbal wordsmith like I am. Why is live streaming? Why is not, live streaming not happening on YouTube? Reason. YouTube sucks. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's the yeah. YouTube has this uh, nasty tendency of uh, re-encoding everything, and for video games, it's bad. Listen, it's real bad. <laughs> we're very clearly trying to sell children toys, so mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. There was the oh. RNG terms of service thing too. There's a new one. Didn't they update their harassment policy? Did they now? Yeah. Well, they said they did. Like last time I logged into the... Um... <laughs> I know that uh, TikTok was um, basically muting people uh, and like not showing their posts uh, if they happened to have some manner of uh, physical malformation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because they might be subject to harassment, so as soon as their posts got a little bit popular, they would hide them from everyone. So, so, so we're we're just going to, to completely prevent, censor these um, people because, oh yeah, no, that's, just in uh, case, yeah, to just prevent case. harassment, yeah. to prevent that's harassment, a, that's, that's an they argument. were yeah. harassing uh. people. Dude. Dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, just keep giving your personal information to the Chinese government. It's fine. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm sure that's about as valuable as buying all the everything that is in the house made in China. How long did you use that Xiaomi phone for, Jordan? <laughs> Not long enough, apparently. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. What's going on there? That doesn't. That's that's thin. a very nice screen. That looks like whatever that, it is. That's too thin. I would knock that over. Just just my aura of nope. Hello, Pennywise. <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order, GTFO, Jurassic. No, nope, nope, nope. Nothing I want. Is that curved? It also looks curved. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> Where are we at on curved monitors? Uh, anything above like 34 inches is fine if it's curved. 
like stupid I, ultra wide i don't i, mm -hmm. I personally don't care it's just kind of like oh this is a curved monitor mm. okay let me rephrase that what about like 22 inch curved monitors <laughs> The Y monitor. <laughs> I mean, like, how cool do you have to be side. sitting for that to actually, you know, Does be your code of vision? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll say if, like, maybe you're a Jill-sized individual, I can see the point of that. Mm. <laughs> like, it's like, a curved if, monitor if, if, for if, little people? Yeah, like, if you're a hobbit and you need a curved <laughs> monitor. How are you not a hobbit? you got a curved monitor. It's only 22 inches. And your best friend's a wizard. Right? Yep. <laughs> Are you sure you're just not a very tiny clansman? <laughs> Bacardi? Ah, yes, mainstream rum. Mm. It's cheap. <laughs> yep. Aww, it's so cute. Dude. Uh, you know what I haven't encountered so far? Is, yeah. like... Do they have those in Canada? The people who, like who sit out and ring the bells and like put money in my pot. Yes. Ah. Salvation Army. That thing. Yes. Yeah. Except they're all a bunch of fucking homophobes, so I don't give them money. I don't blame them. <laughs> Dude, that they're like, <laughs> like even corporate structures. Like I kind of went on a rabbit hole years ago about that. I was like, that's messed up, man. That is like bad. One point five seven liters. Last the month. I mean, uh, these are half a liter bottles, and I go through four of them every podcast evening <laughs> on Saturdays. Are you gonna try and make it five this week? Yeah, baby. No, I don't. I only I, have I, the I, four. I, I, That's I believe how I keep myself eight. in check. <laughs> For our four hours, I go through two two liters and usually like four twelve ounce cans. Not much. Don't support. Yeah, man. Just like big stores. Uh, okay, so we got three minutes. Jordan, what's new with you? Um, Aside from coughing up stuff, I ate a banana. That I banana did not stand a chance. It didn't. <laughs> what do you think of like frozen bananas? Are those good? Like, uh, just eating a frozen banana? That was the uh, question cool. post, yes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, because you, you, you can do stuff with frozen bananas, like... Um, Keep going. Use them as, like, use them as an ice cube supplement instead of... Or a substitute instead of, like, uh, in a smoothie or something. Mm. Or, um... Sometimes you can, you can actually make ice cream out of them if you want. Um, it's alright. It just tastes like banana, but... I mean, they're 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 all right. I'd rather eat a non-frozen banana, but I wouldn't be opposed to eating a frozen banana. Mm. You know, there's always money in the banana stand. Frozen banana stand. <laughs> I don't know. I bit into banana peel once just to see what it tasted like. I've never k a banana, dude. <laughs> that. No, that, I, that 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 is some different. Uh, that has a different meaning these days. It does, <laughs> but you know, I am using the uh, Queen's K packs. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not okay to spacey anymore. <laughs> you you got to be able to separate the banana from the art. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gets a little more complicated when the banana is the art. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> as, as we discovered this week. <sighs> Was that anything more than just a publicity thing? Mm. Uh, I mean, they sold the banana for like $20,000 and then someone ate it, right? Like 120000 is... 120000 yeah. <laughs> You left some digits off that. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Shit, man. How much does banana cost? $10? The hell kind of bananas are you buying? Canadian. <laughs> Toronto y bananas. Y man, y'all need to watch Arrested Development. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mr. Money Bananas. Uh, um, <laughs> I've, I've, I've dropped like three Arrested Development jokes. and <laughs> Never seen it. It's, it's really funny. 
I've heard nothing but good things from it, and I've heard that followed by you would really enjoy it, which apparently I would. Yeah, it's it's on my uh, Netflix uh, I, you watch know, you list. Know what? At some point, I'll get to it. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I I think then you would appreciate its advice on rearing children. Mm. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> That's, hey, like, mad respect to anybody that wants to bring up kids and stuff like that. I got tons of friends that have children, and we make about the same, and they don't have any money left over after the kids. Yeah, children are expensive. Like, life choice. That's cool. All right, um, let me go get some uh, refills, and we'll get eats. Oh, All right. So, wait, where are we at on the um, cat eating? Would cat eat? Well, this is a silly question. Do you think the cat regretted this decision? <laughs> I mean, it's sweet, right? So it's probably, oh, treat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Jordan, you need a cat. I do. <laughs> I need. I need some kind of animal companion. Just, yeah, it'd be like having an asshole roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. That's, fi that's fine. I like animals more than people, so. People are animals. This is true. Not non non Real shit animals. animals, if I may say so, but yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full of poo. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, we, we're animals in the sense that we're Rawr. not plants and we're not fungi. Well, at least you're not crazy plant person. <laughs> I want to be Swamp Thing. You leave me alone. <laughs> I want to be a tree that has sex with human women. <laughs> I want to be that blue plant lady from Farscape. Oh, um... Rawr. Shit, what's her name? Rita Repulsa. Yes, I can't remember either. <laughs> Her name's. I, I I know I know the actress's name. I just don't know what her character is. I mean, who didn't have a crush on Zahn. her? Zahn. Zahn. That was Zahn. Yes. <laughs> the only identifiable character in the entire series. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I always thought Claudia Black was pretty hot. All right. Rita Repulsa. Yeah. They actually managed to get the um, the voice actress that played Rita Repulsa to be Rita Repulsa in the uh, gritty Power Rangers thing. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Oh, are you talking about like the Power Slash the Rangers gritty, or whatever? Yes. <laughs> okay, the gritty yeah, yeah. Uh, thing with um, Dawson. Dawson. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> James Vanderbeek, that's the name. <laughs> Dawson, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Starbucks, Starbucks was in there as the Pink Ranger. Mm-hmm. Who are you? It's me, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly died <laughs> in my arms. <laughs> Must have been something you said. <laughs> yeah, see, that would have been a good Power Rangers movie, actually turning that short into an actual full-length thing. I, I would have been down with that. How many episodes is the new season uh, season of The Expanse? Ten. Alright, cool. I, I like, I swear a lot more on Thank it. you for the follow. 
You banana eating fool. Everyone's eating bananas but me. Yeah. I think I like I've I've eaten more bananas on stream than anyone <laughs> here at least. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, there, there, there's probably like banana mo banana nomer on Twitch who like their 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 entire channel. Thank you very just, much like, for the bananas. sub, Cryo Maven. I if that was you, maybe it was like salty. I don't know. <laughs> Where do I need to go here? Do do I should I or should I not contact Guinness? Um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you have to pay. Okay, them. that was you. Thank you, Cryo Maven. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Oh, Fortnite. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'll allow it. I'm pretty sure that's also a porn. Fortnite. Oh, that probably is. Fortnite. Porn, porn <laughs> no, that's Fortnite. Not, not Googling that. <laughs> no. Give me a few words, Jordan. Let me see your input level. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to go too crazy voice-wise because my voice is still raw, but... We can do it with that. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the 382nd time, Almost said 80 tooth time. 80 tooth. <laughs> the 80 tooth. Uh, Do you want the, whole, the, the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth? Uh, so help you tooth. You can't handle the tooth. Get toothy with it. <laughs> Drawing a blank, you win. All right. Time to be professional. In three, two, one, and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Hello, lads. How's everyone doing this fine, chilly night? It might not be chilly where you are. Um, I'm here. It's I'm chilly where Stone. I am. In beautiful downtown Athens, Georgia, switching the bits, doing the nightmare fuel all under Linux, as always, joined every week by uh, the man up north, Cthulhu himself. Uh, sugar is the devil. Yeah, yeah. Boucher. Hey, sexy. <laughs> and budget Steve Jobs and not a turtleneck, but close enough for us. Uh, Pedro Mateus. No, no turtlenecks around here. Oh, I haven't man. had a turtleneck in over 15 years. Turtlenecks are wait, delicious. Wait, 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 no. Dude. Hold, 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 okay. hold on. If, 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 if Pedro is going to be budget Steve Jobs, would be like Esteban what? Uh, es El Steve Job Bowl. <laughs> Esteban Jobs. Esteban Emprejo. <laughs> Esteban Emprejo. There we go. Show title. <laughs> We're starting off great this afternoon. This You're evening. welcome. Um, You're welcome. Together with you, everyone at home, join us live. How about us for him? How do you say cocaine Voltron? That's the bon <laughs> Yes, it's Blanco. <laughs> Voltron da cocaína? See? That's, ex that's exactly what I would expect zombie Steve Jobs to say. Man. <laughs> oh, zombie Steve Jobs speaks Spanish now. All right. In Zom world. Zombie Steve, Steve Jobs says whatever we need him to say. because he's, right. he's dead. All right. So, what's been up with everyone? Um, Jordan, what are you up to, man? I know you've had a little bit of cold. You soldiered through. We powered through on top of your cold through the video game awards. I don't yeah, think somebody showed up and helping us with that because of that, like, oh. that may have been a mistake. Because yes. <laughs> I mean, m m most most of the like congestion is gone, but I still have all the chest stuff. So I will be making Bella, my doing my Bella Lugosi impression in Plan Nine from Outer Space, pretending to be someone else being Bella Lugosi. I don't know. <laughs> Towards the end of the stream, I, I, I was. Getting pretty synced up with the, uh, oh, I see the tissue. Boop. There we go. Let's mute that. Yeah. 
Pedro, do you have anything sexy going on in Britannia this week? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be sexy because, uh, yeah, it's Canada cold outside. But uh, nope, not really. I, the most eventful thing that happened to me this week was that I found um, my work phone, the Nokia 7.1, is getting an update to Android 10. So it's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that, man. I gotta buy an <laughs> Android device. Uh, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I've done anything I really want. Um, dude, I get a bunch of network cards. If you follow me on Twitter, it's like, yay, arts and crafts time. Uh, recorded a lot of it. I'll put that up for Patreons because it's entertaining. If you ever, ever wanted to be just rambling on being old man Vin while like redoing brackets and getting to the point of trying to explain something. It's like, I'm a professional per computer person than going... You know, this would be a lot easier if I took the back bracket out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> then Jackbox caught on fire. It was all recorded, but yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that like later than today because I started to render that out. It's going to be like four hours, so maybe tomorrow night, maybe Monday. Uh, what's the horse up to this week? Uh, I mean, I mean, the horse has a lot in common with what's coming out of my body currently. It's all sticky and green. It's the steam lettuce. Don't day, don't day. So we're we're we're, <laughs> we're getting these, I guess, once a quarter now. It's the uh, Steamworks Fall Recap. Um, Valve going over and listing all the shit that they've done so that people can stop bugging them about taking a thirty percent cut. Um, mm -hmm. The um, it's, I mean, it's been pretty busy for them because they, they launched two pretty big things is the new library, which I mean, I've adapted to. I don't completely hate it now. I'm just back to impartial until they release the next update. Yeah. And the uh, the other one was um, Remote Play Together, which is kind of the new killer feature because yep. it allows you to play games with your friends that you couldn't have otherwise played because people don't want to write network code. So Valve has done and wrote your network code for you. There's also some crap about like trading cards and achievement that I'm pretty sure no one here really cares about but if you scroll down to yeah. the bottom of the article don't forget to spend all your money on the steam holiday sale fuckos <laughs> <laughs> yeah reminder we just had a sale now you got another one uh but yeah localized trading cards come on really yeah was that really necessary <laughs> for, yes. for esteban of course of course <laughs> dude <laughs> do not be done <sighs> i'm kind of with you jordan uh that transition to the New library and all that. That was rough for a couple of weeks. Like we were able to put it off, defer like I got to the point I always just normally run the betas. And I'd backed out just to avoid that nightmare. But mm -hmm. it's usable now. I don't really notice it because it doesn't work. I mean it does work and uh it doesn't like slow down. You like the, the, uh, if, if if you click on the game, it pl it runs. And that's kind of the important thing. That, like, that's what yeah. I look for in that. <laughs> um and it it's you know I, I don't have each top open with the thread ripper going, ooh, look at all that. Um, so it, it's in better shape these days. But we got some Proton out of this. Just came out. Like oh, yes. Yeah. Version 4.11.10, um, which they kind of lead off with the Halo. The Master Chief Collection is now playable. And I was like, really happy. He's like, yes, That's we finally tease. figured out That's easy anti-cheat. It's like, no, nope. some game modes are disabled due to missing easy anti-cheat support. Boo. And then, uh, to complete this uh, bit of a roller coaster, it's like, oh, uh, we uh, finally um, improved uh, mouse handling in some games, uh, namely Fallout 4, Fury, Metal Gear Solid 5, Mouse Behavior. And it's like, ooh, did they actually fix Fallout 4? And they did. They actually did. Uh, mm. they, uh, previously, if you had tried to play Fallout 4 using Proton and you had, you know, more than one monitor as soon as the mouse got to the point where it would cross the other monitor the game wouldn't hold uh the cursor there and you would actually see the cursor show up on the other monitor mm -hmm. so that was a bit of a problem the only way to work around that was to open up wine config in that proton prefix and set it to like uh virtual desktop mode and but that comes with its own share of issues uh namely if you say want to make use of the full screen like full size uh scaling that proton does to actually match your monitor's resolution instead of you know actually changing your monitor's resolution to whatever you're running the game at but yeah no they fixed it 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 works now so that i think, that, I think that's great I think we're bearing the lead though is that you can now play trine 4 
beyond 30 frames a second. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I can no longer have my. I didn't even know that was a bug. I guess a lot of people weren't playing Trine. I, I mean, um, we, we still we still got to do it, man. We still got to do it. That's yeah. uh, something we pledged to do on Patreon. So, yeah, stay. We must try and again at some point. <laughs> uh, Hang on. Pedro, I want you to get busy. Find another game breaking issue on Linux for playing yeah, that. Just, just we'll introduce run. one. Just <laughs> yeah. like introduce a pull request to the kernel that, like, if Trine4.exe, like, reboot the system. <laughs> <laughs> Something we're not going to have to worry about rebooting in the future is Insurgency. This is a game, this is one of those games that the type of people who love this game will cut you if you say a bad word about it. So you can play for free right now if you want on Linux, but get that out of your system because they are talking about the future update for, I believe it's Sandstorm, correct? And, Storm. you know, Deep map optimizations, everything, you know, localizations over 20 languages, including uh, both versions of Portugal. Uh, <laughs> both versions of Chinese. Yeah. Simplified, traditional, Spanish. What, what's LA? Latin? Latin America. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yep. So, all good news until we get down to some things are going to have to cut. Uh, they definitely talk about we're in the business of being a business. So we got to focus on the console port, you guys and gals. Uh, however, in order to do that and some other stuff, uh, we got to make money. Things get cut uh, up to including the story mode, Mac support, here's where I'm coming, Linux support, local play on PvP modes, weapons on back, and new foregrip upgrade options. So it looks like if you're going to be playing Insurgency um, Sandstorm, it's going to be on Proton? Fair yeah. 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 Yep. Hmm. Or we... I mean, uh, I they're know... not even using the source engine anymore, right? So it would have been um, a sizable chunk to actually get Linux support going. And if they are, that's trapped for cash. Eh. Well, I, I see care. Pennywise, <laughs> which is legit. Uh, Pennywise has got like 700 plus hours into it. So I, I know yeah. that this is like... <laughs> Seriously, a big blow to you know, Pennywise. Yep, Pennywise, yep. he's crushed. He, his little red <laughs> nose doesn't honk, man. It's just like deflated. Right. He's neat. Now, now he has no reason to come out of the sewer. Okay, shame. Sure. <laughs> hey, um, mobile games. That's right. You mean yeah, free mobile is. games? That's the only reason it, I threw this in here. Like, I indeed, uh, draw slasher. Um, it is free. You can download it now. I tried it out for five minutes. I and I, you made it that far. I got as far to. It's like, man, you really want me to be precise in this tutorial? No, <laughs> I've, no, no. I, I I squiggled my way through that tutorial, but it's yeah, it's basically Fruit Ninja with less fruits and more zambos. Um, but it doesn't cost you anything. Nope. So, I mean, hey, man. If you're looking for a time killer? You can go cut off Mega Man's hands, I guess. <sighs> It's 100% off, man. All this is going to be in our show notes. You have until, I think, December 20th to pick this up. But, hey, free game, Linux support. I want to throw that in the notes because hashtag LGC good cares. Hey, good mouse. Yeah. mouse. Good mouse. Smile. Bad mouse. What and can... much along that uh, line of thinking, I decided to throw that one, um, Gun Gods, in the notes. But uh, it was only after I put it in the notes that I actually decided to try and download it. And I got a zero byte download. Apparently, the Linux depot is empty. It is free to play. Rami, and it does why? have uh, Linux system you requirements. You know what, Pedro? Pedro, I don't want to be judgmental. <laughs> but reading through the description of Gun Gods is a first person shooter about a gun, gangster rap, and the rich culture of Venus. So... Yes, and you're shooting furries. Uh, but, it's, uh, you know, it's, I saw Vlambeer, I saw free to play. I was like, all right, okay. Let, let's give it a shot. And no, the, the the Linux depot is empty. And if you like hit the Proton button to see what the Linux version, uh, the Windows version um, runs like, it immediately freezes mm -hmm. as soon as you launch it. So it's like, yeah, no, I'm out. Okay, I give up. <laughs> I don't think anything of value was lost on there. No, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would have been nice if it ran, but... But we whatever. do have some things that work this week. Yeah, spe speaking yes. of working things, we're throwing chairs at it. Uh, Shovel Knight, oh, King yeah. of Cards. Uh, it's out. It's basically a prequel to Shovel Knight, but there's like a Pazak 
triple triad style game that comes along with it and you can collect cards for it over the course of the gameplay um not gonna say too much about it because we have an entire section <laughs> devoted to it uh, oh so yeah i'll tuned. just say that uh big big kudos to the devs for sending us keys it's currently nine ninety nine. Even when it does handstands, uh, single player. Which okay, yeah. That's... Um, if you if you bought the shovel knight treasure trove, then you just get this for free. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. And being you know, one thing you can say about this and the shovel knight system requirements are hella low on these. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. Uh, yacht yacht clubs yacht clubs really good at like making NES games like actual NES games. It's like good and tight because mm -hmm. nothing irritates me more. It's like oh this is a hipster pixel inspired what is uh, it's nineteen gigs. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you have a ten series or above Nvidia. Um, yeah, that's definitely a thing. But what is this last bit? Mirrors. This last bit is one we talked about long ago when it first showed up uh, as a coming soon because it looked really nice. It's um like walking simulator slash uh, point and click adventure game, and it's got these very polygonal characters. It's called Mosaic, and it's like yes, it looks really nice. Oh, that's funny. That's At how least people react to me when I'm on the subway tunnel. Yeah, <laughs> uh, as um you know indie games go this one is it looks aesthetically very very nice and i was kind of looking forward to it but then it comes out and it's like oh mixed reviews 58 uh of the total of 70 reviews are uh positive but pedro are you going to be that person you're like oh hey what's this oh what does the internet think about it okay then i can form not my own opinion. really but yeah it's they usually for the chair acquisition by the way yeah, when you have, uh, like, a bunch of people sp spitting out their opinions about the games, it tends to, like, balance out, and, yeah, mixed is usually, it's like, oh, there's probably something wrong with it, isn't there? So, yeah, I'll, I'll... I have sent them an email. I would very much like to, uh... Um... Doesn't look good. I, I'm kind of afraid of it. Love to play it. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I like Cubism. Yes! <laughs> I it doesn't, you see. know, adhere to the traditional uh, video game aesthetic. So, yeah. Maybe we I, I, I eat brown and gritty. I don't know. I just don't think you should <laughs> yeah. listen to, like, online video game critics, man. This is crazy talk. Bad idea. <laughs> They're just assholes on the internet. Hi! <laughs> Coming up next, some assholes on the internet beg for money. And news. Also news, yes. Drivers. <laughs> yes, empty is a Linux repository. <laughs> you can go to vote.linuxgamecast.com, vote on some show titles. We got three at the moment. We got a slice of them. We got Esteban Trabajos and Voltron de Cocaina. <laughs> what, employers was too much? <laughs> no, I, uh, I I Google translated jobs and that was the actual, that was the actual translation. <laughs> ah, does it at least give you the suggestion of employers? <laughs> I, I, I gen when I bank suggested it, I didn't remember what you said. <laughs> so Google Translate. <laughs> if you would like to provide your own alternative, you can bank suggest it. That's the beauty of the vote bot. We can let democracy. Okay, so that solve is the one of the options. Good. <laughs> I mean, el trabajo, el empleo, la ocupación. <laughs> La tarea. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, I see that. All right. <laughs> El deber. I just, I just want to. Your duty. Take oh that. yeah, duty job. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Esteban Sibyl Barago. What? That was from uh, Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> Do, do you think we could survive a Pinky and the Brain reboot? I think so. 
Hmm. I don't know where I'd sit on that. Do you think, okay, better question. Could you get away with it? Yeah, I think so. Really? <laughs> I, I think so. Hmm. I don't think we could get away with Animaniacs. Animaniacs, maybe not. Picky in the brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freakazoid, definitely not. Then again, I highly recommend everyone at least get a little taste of the um, Harley Quinn animated series that just launched. Watch that first episode. Watch the first 40 seconds of the first episode. That'll tell you whether or not you're like, I'm in. There's no, eh, I'll watch it in the background. That That wouldn't be part of this. I think it's like the the mind fuck that is those characters doing what they're doing and saying what they're saying. Like what? 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 What is this? Is this like flash gets? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm here. I'm hearing good stuff about it. So I'm gonna take some time and it's give it a watch. It's intense. I think as I said uh, to Pedro, it's like, oh, the killing joke was rated R. Technically, it's like, this is hard R. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oof. It's good. No, it's on the uh, DC Plus. Because everyone has a st streaming service now. Well, welcome to the balkanization of media. Remember, remember when we were all happy just to pay Netflix eight bucks a month? No, man. Go to one place. Eventually, we'll get, like, one big company to take all the other streaming services and put them all together. Disney. There are now 15 competing services. <laughs> we'll call it a cable cut. <laughs> <laughs> the D+. Plus. There you go. Yeah. Just watch it. It's right next to, like, little kids' movies on the menu, too. <laughs> it's like, ooh. But then again... Six months of Disney Plus for free after getting the Chromebook, and it didn't work on the Chrome OS for a long time until they finally reeled back the uh, DRM. Do you want something that commonly shows up in the um, OBS Discord? Uh, is can I run OBS on my Chromebook? I don't see why not. Oh, I can. You can, <laughs> but. You don't want to. Well, they, they don't support. <laughs> oh, there's a... Oh, if you don't mind building it from sauce, there's a version of OBS that you can build for a Raspberry Pi. Speaking of things I want Pedro to try. Right. I, I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> so not only can you test the HD capture card, you can test it with OBS. Yes. On the Raspberry Pi. On the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> This is just going to get worse and worse and worse as Pedro continues I, to... Yeah, the quicker you do it, the less painful it's going to be, dude. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been difficult to multiply. Yeah, I actually had some time this week. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Um, I'm going to say with Chromebook, the main reason uh, the OBS team doesn't bother with it because, A, it's... The vast, vast majority of Chromebooks are wicked low spec hardware. Yep. They have some like weirdly you, powerful Chromebooks though. They are also weirdly expensive too. Yeah. Like the type <laughs> the of the i5 that, versions of the Pixel books are like, oh, twelve hundred dollars. I think you. anybody that buys <laughs> a twelve hundred dollar Pixel book uh, knows what they're getting too. Though. I mean, you, yeah, you accidentally go like, oh, wait, what? Also, do yourself a yeah, favor. Yeah, you can um, absolutely run OBS with both um, the Linux app Christini thing, or if you set it to developer mode and you set up Crouton, then yeah, it's just the ch root for regular Linux. Hmm. 
I'll eventually talk myself to getting that Chrome tab. That's the that's best I can do, man. I just can't buy a laptop <laughs> and it all it does is run a web browser. Just, there really haven't been any decent regular Android tablets coming out lately. Nope. I mean, you have the Amazon Fire and that that's it. And yeah, you, you're limited to a, uh, Amazon's version of Android. No, you don't. Oh, you can still buy like a decent nope. Samsung yeah. tablet for like $1,000. <laughs> the Amazon tablet I bought would argue this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you get the 2018 version, you can absolutely uh, do things with it. The, the, see, the Amazon tablet's not necessarily the great, it's a great tablet for the price. Mm-hmm. If you need a media, if you can get it device. for a hundred pounds, one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Eh. No, <laughs> that's exactly what you wanted to do. I mean, if you want a permanently attached keyboard, though, I mean, right on. But might as well just buy a cheap laptop at that point. Yeah, but cheap laptops don't run Android apps. Chromebooks do. <laughs> Can't you? Just... Oh, you can listen mm. with with the with the Android SDK. Many things are possible. Yeah, but you need to be able to run the Android SDK. <laughs> so you just get a cheapo Chromebook and you run the Play Store. There. <laughs> Man, I remember the first time I installed Linux off of a uh, USB 3 drive onto an NVMe. No, it's just an SSD. I was like, jeez. Oh, man. That's no, neat. Do, doing, <laughs> doing the network install over gigabit, over gigabit internet onto an SSD was so great. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and we're done all right <laughs> all right i gotta go take a piss i'll be back that was uh i was thinking man when do you think humanity we're, we're going to have like even specialized access to in-home because it's like do you know how much stuff that we could do with 10 gigabit like bi-directional 10 gig home internet they could do it they're just not going to oh the technology existed for decades oh if if like 15 years ago they actually rolled out all that fiber optic infrastructure mm -hmm. instead of just pocketing all the cash in the u.s 100 percent, they could have just like easily easily had 10 gigabit to the house but they didn't because they pocketed all the money well if, uh, we won't do it again no I, hey, I, I, we... absolutely not no even though AT and T, I think they lobbied or whatever they did to the uh, FTC or what nots to have their uh, like DSL removed from the broadband census that they took because it made them look bad. Oh wow! Wow, yeah. that that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Like <laughs> it, it's wow, yeah. Wow, wow sums it up. Yeah, and that they did it. Not that AT and T did it. Oh, the government but, like, was like, "Okay, don't want to make you look bad." Man, scope dodges are the worst. They're just like, "No, this thing is bullshit," but it doesn't meet the super narrow definition of this thing, and so we can't do it. We're not mm. going to do it, or we don't have to do anything about it. Yeah, facts are useless. I like statistics. They're more pliable. Mm hmm. It's got to truncate that x-axis, baby. What is that? The y-axis. Yeah, that's gonna work. It'll work fine. I mean, the yeah. fan will eventually catch on fire when the motor overheats, but... What do you think about projectors? Do you like projectors? Once upon a time, I had it in my head that I wanted a projector set up. Mm -hmm. Then I realized how hot they ran, mm. and I thought better of it. Well, now you don't have to... The only thing I never liked was having to replace bulbs, but, you know, if you hate money, what? you can get a laser projector, like... Affordable is a strong word, but for about three grand, you can get a decent one. Pro I mean, pro projectors have their own like price point. They're uh, yeah, they they cost what they cost because that's what people have been convinced to pay for them. Look at their market segment. It's yeah. like, and it's a really small segment when it's in home too, as opposed to like industrial mm. or for education. Smart projectors. Can I Chromecast to it? You can Chromecast anything if you're brave enough. Yeah. Does, does it have an HDMI in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go for it. Well, 
That's the only thing I don't like about the cold, man. You get more lethargic. I guess that's your body telling you to go curl up somewhere. I get pretty lethargic when it's warm, so... Hmm. I'm usually active when it's warm. You weirdo. Yeah, man. It's like you get in your comfy mode when it's, like, chilly. Like, ah, I'm just, I'm just gonna stay here and... Stevel! Thank you very much Is for the sub. Stevel or Stevel? <laughs> what? <laughs> you see, I wasn't I paying attention. I was thinking attention. Steve, but Stevel. I, 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 <laughs> Steve uh, and Steve. evil. Stevel. Stevel can evil. <laughs> I didn't see that until it turned around and my brain's like, deer flying spaghetti monster, he finally snapped. Stevel! <laughs> it's the Stevel Linuxel update <laughs> of the weekle! <laughs> I like to think that that's Steve's alt account that Joel doesn't know about. Uh, it's Steve's evil, evil twin. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's got the not goatee. Yes. <laughs> the no tea. The no tea. No, dude, it's goatee made entirely of The naughty. <laughs> naughty. But that's what this is. Yeah, that's his own thing. That's... Like, this this is called, this is the only part of my facial hair that actually grows with any sort of consistency. Mm. And that consistency <laughs> <Hello>. is not. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, as, as it turns right out, here. if you have like curly hair up here, you tend to have curly hair here. And here. <laughs> actually, my chest hair is weirdly straight. I don't know why. Do you part it? <laughs> Sometimes. Why? If I'm feeling sexy. What? <laughs> No, uh, this is good to make a joke about Jordan having a homophobic chest hair. <laughs> Weirdly straight. Yeah, no, the rest the rest of my hair is super gay. It's just on my chest. You mean fabulous? Uh, it is fabulous. Until you try to comb it. It doesn't like being combed, dude. I. It, it wants to stay kinky and proud. Calm down, Steve Jobs. Esteban. Esteban Empleo. Esteban Travallo. Still haven't watched El Camino, man. It's a damn shame. The it's the weirdest thing for me is like, like an fat. hour and a half. Yeah. It, it's, it's just Fat Todd. It's like 90 minutes of Fat Todd. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Fat Todd in it. <laughs> He's like, yes, I get it. This is like the same actor ten years later. I'm not, I'm not faulting him for it. It's just, it's just weird. It's like, yeah, Todd was not that fat during the recording, but what else? <laughs> Maybe Todd finally had a sandwich. <laughs> well, he, he eats a lot of soup in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> All the anti-vaping propaganda during the VGAs. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is truth.org anyways? Because I remember there were, they did anti-smoking commercials. That's what they need. You know, ironically, truth.org is a FUD distribution channel. <laughs> what about truth.co.uk? I have no idea. <laughs> Does that even exist? Let's see, truth. Uh, this is gonna be great. Pedro's about to get on a list. Uh, UK. Uh, well, I got the big yellow warning of uh, <laughs> this you. is not HTTPS, so I'm out. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> this is my imitation of Pedro's door tomorrow. <laughs> Well, you know what? At least they were better than the Stadia commercials. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Are you just going to leave me hanging on that one, Atomic? Or is there context to it? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> that's five, man. <laughs> um, hmm. Jordan's jester. Apparently, hipsters have something to say about your jester, man. Linda, I'm. You know, I I don't know what your obsession is with my chest hair. I'm if if you want, I can I can mill you some. Yeah, like wax <laughs> some off and send you like a strip. You think you can get it through customs? It's not a fruit shaped eraser, so I think we're good. I don't know. I would like some chest hair with clearly labeled to human chest hair. I mean, <laughs> chest like do not open chest hair inside. Someone's up. I don't know what I was and, expecting. And an igloo cooler with a frozen banana. Same package. I just want to fuck with customs people. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know that man. It's it's weird being like the most hirsute individual on a podcast. Like, Pedro, Pedro's not particularly hairy. Ben's not hairy. I am. It's like all all of my hair is from like here up. <laughs> Oh, and I suppose my legs have a little bit of hair. Not enough to actually protect me from any kind of um, breeze. <laughs> this needs to be its own. I'm going to do like nice, soothing music. It is like deep thoughts with LGC. <laughs> it's like shower thoughts with more hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry Foxy, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> oh yeah, Fo Foxy has me beat on term in terms of like body hair, but he he he's a level five or Robin Williams level individual. I was just gonna say like, uh, what's the like human hair? Of Never mind. Let's just get into the news. <laughs> you, I thought you said human hair minimum for a second there. And nope. I was like, what? I said let's <laughs> the get into the news. To hair ratio. <laughs> How many humans are there in comparison to the amount of hair? <laughs> Esteban Travayo. <laughs> how do you how do you say go in Spanish? Vamanos? Say, what? Vamanos? Hurry. Oh yeah. If it's go, yeah. The vamanos is pretty good. Mm. Do we have like <laughs> alternates for that? Vamanos? El um, Go O? Yeah, that's what I would, I would have to. <laughs> In three, two, El Go O. Rojo. I'd rather not go there. Rojo but, Go. Uh, yep, go ahead. Yes. Uh, yes. So, hello, and uh, <laughs> welcome to that bit of the show where most of you completely skip the YouTube video and go directly to the news afterwards. That's okay. We know you do that. That's fine. But hey, y'all are awesome, and we do need to thank those of you, you who have you decided really to share to, your... Like, look at the fine grain. They just skip over your part. Now they're watching again. Hi. Yeah. Y you say that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, y'all yeah. gotta watch the out. graph. You can see the dip. This is very, part of, part very important information listen. at this moment. <laughs> okay, so that's the, and that is it. Might, it might save your life. <laughs> yes. Go to LinuxGameCast.com. Move your mouse over the support menu thing. We got Bitcoin. We got Patreon. We got a store. We got wish lists. We got affiliate links. All sorts of neat stuff you can do to support us. It's pretty nice. Um, you can head on over to Patreon. Er, yeah, I guess we can talk about the wish lists. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just, no, 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 you keep plugging. I'm snooping on your wish list. Ah, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, spe speaking of wish lists, we got to thank Carl for sending Pedro some uh, T-pins. But yeah, yes. Um, best way to support us. T-pins. Thank you. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. That's Bye. not what I thought it was. Um, <laughs> that looked up. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, Anyways, uh, patreon.com uh, slash Linux Gamecast. <laughs> Become a Patreon. Get cool stuff like access to the show notes or our Discord channel or RSVP to game streams. Or if you want to give us a bunch of money, you can be number four on here because thanks to thanks to NVIDIA drivers, we can in fact have a fourth person on the show. Yes. Not 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 for lack of effort though. Um <laughs> Yeah, we 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 got we got a store as well, store.linuxgamecast.com. You can buy some t-shirts. 
you can buy some mouse pads. We got we got a holiday shirt for you, right? We got the Hail Santa. That's still going on. Oh hell yeah, yeah. So if you want to, you want to, you want to show your allegiance to the Kringle Lord up in the North Pole, forcing elves to slave away making toys for children at low low prices. You can you can <laughs> wear that and broadcast that to everyone. Jingle but, all the sleigh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Jingle Pedro, all the OSHA violations, am I right? Um, we we, we got to get to this, man, because if you send anything through the wish zone, you can send a little card and we have to read it, which is a horrible, horrible idea that we indeed. continue to practice. Yes, and um, Carl, um, I was disappointed. Carl! I was expecting something about, uh, you know, Whitey having to pay. But uh, no, it's like, enjoy your gift from Carl. Carl! What, what was your gift Thank again? You. <laughs> T-Pain? T pins, 150 T pins. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Oh, what? What's, oh, what's this? Another, is another a Carl, Carl gift? <laughs> Let me tell you what we have here. We just realized I don't have scissors. Um, Use your teeth. <laughs> Rip it. <laughs> Rip and tear. Rip and tear. <laughs> it's not that one. <laughs> That's a sweater. You say that. <laughs> I'm carefully putting that. Okay, what do we have? Um, enjoy your gift from Carl. So, Carl, <laughs> what's in what's in the bag? What's in the bag? <laughs> it's it's my new sweater. It, <laughs> oh, it, it's a bit Art Deco. <laughs> um, I I know you don't understand. <laughs> Fashion Jordan. You could but... go uh, Mad Max, full on Mad Max with that sweater. <laughs> My new sweater's name is Stefan. <laughs> so go fuck yourself. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> it might also double as cable ties. Put cables and shit in. I'm, I mean, you can make a sweater out of it. I'm just going to wear it, man. This is going to be my new yep. like, scarf. It'll be brilliant. You're going like, to be like the crow, but instead of like belt buckles, it's cable ties. Uh, Okay, so let's get into the news while I carefully put this somewhere that I don't instantly kill dead myself. We're gonna go some <laughs> yes. People. Well, we, we, got, we got brand new NVIDIA drivers while well, Ven's going on about that. Uh, this is brand new Vulcan drivers. Uh, they got rebased on uh, 440.43.01. And it comes with some fixes. Um, you can get some faster driver load times under uh, Vulcan development scenarios. And they plug some memory leaks. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, the faster loading Vulcan is always a plus in my book, be it in development or in uh, you know actual everyday use. Nice, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it does work at, at least over here in Neon. <laughs> I was super happy about this. Very excited because I'm running that Kernel five point three, which the previous beta drivers told me to die in a fire and eat a fire while I was dying in it. This will compile against that. I was happy to get that technology back. And one of the issues I was having with the, you know, short-lived branch that actually worked with kernel 5.3 was an issue exporting HEVC in DaVinci. And this seems to have fixed that. So I can get my .265 with smaller files out, which means I can get the shows and stuff uploaded quicker, nice. which is awesome. <laughs> I do... The computer like has a heart attack like coming in and out of like any Vulcan game and it's like it seizes for a second. Not in a bad way. Nothing that would terrify you too much, but uh yeah, I did notice that. Yeah, yeah. something about uh Vulcan context under a GLX context. <laughs> hey, well, you need to yeah. Vulcan Doors. desktops. Right? Yeah, and uh, sticking with the drivers, let's get on to some Mesa. Yes, we have both NVIDIA and Mesa driver updates this show. It's like, ho oh, oh, fun times. But yeah, this one is the big one, at least uh, if you have uh, one of the new Navi um, GPUs, because Mesa 19.3.0 is now available and it supports, it has proper support for all the Navis, at least. Um, 5700 series, uh, 5500 might still be a bit of a crapshoot, but the 5700 now has proper support. You also get uh, OpenGL 4.6 and ACO. So yeah, this yeah. is uh, it got mainlined in. Uh, you can enable it by setting radv underscore perf test equals ACO. And you know what? If you got an AMD card, it might just be worth it to set that globally because 
yeah. in most most it, of the cases. It is, it, is, it is as fast or faster than the LLVM compiler for shaders. And if you're just doing gaming on the boss box, you're not doing any sort of like Bitcoin mining or GP GPU, then there's no reason to not. Yeah, I tried it on uh, El Cheapo with the RX 570. And yeah, uh, some games you see a noticeable performance improvement. The rest of them are, they run just as well as they ever did. So yeah. And, the, and the, the cool thing is this is part one of what Valve is working on because the ACO shader compiler was just the first stage. Uh, apparently they're working on some um, stuff to further improve shader compilation time for Vulkan under Linux, which will be pretty neat. So we were talking about this a little bit in the pre pre super shows. Uh, how far are we uh, in 2019? Yeah, I guess it's going to be 2020. So we have like a nice plug and play solution for um, AMD out of the box. So like the it, it depends on what it depends on what card you're getting. If you're getting a brand new card, mm -hmm. then it's it's a little sketchy because like. So the, it's great. Mesa 19.3 is out. You can you can use it. It's usable. It's fully tested. But distributions may not necessarily be shipping with it. Ubuntu definitely isn't. Um, Fedora usually keeps their Mesa in track with their release. Okay. Uh, if you're on Arch, it's rolling, so it'll make it in there relatively quickly. Uh, but the issue really becomes install media, right? Uh, hmm. If you're installing yep. off of like a live image, then you're not going to necessarily have um, proper video support. And depending on your setup, you may not be able to install the distribution with a graphical mode, but text-based installers are pretty easy. So. This, this is true. Uh, I even, you know, I remember when I got this 2060, like the Fedora couldn't hack it with a GUI and I was like, bah. it's like, oh, that's bad. But yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to simply because being able to recommend getting, because the... And if you get an RX 500 series, yeah, yeah that'll yeah. work out of the box with anything from like 1804 onwards easily. Mm -hmm. No issues whatsoever. The, but yeah, the, if you the, get one of the 5000 series like the 5700, then you need kernel 5.3 and Mesa 19.3. Be advised. Yeah, so that's yep. always going to be like the new cards. If you have something older, then it'll be fine. Yeah. Skyrim! Hoppitus, hoppitus. <laughs> D9VK, D9V Skyrim, version not for zero. Cro uh, I, th I thought it was Crack-A-Cola. Crack-A-Cola. <laughs> it's Crack-A-Cola, show title. Um, features. Well, the big one, I saw that they've implemented the, well, they, uh, Frog, has implemented the f ability to run more than four gigajoules of VRAM in 32-bit applications. Why would that be? Right here. Modded Skyrim, Oblivion, etc. Done. Yep. Boom. I think that's brilliant. Still pulling a couple of bug fixes, though, man. Hey, they fixed the mirrors in Max Payne, too. That's been yeah. hot bugging me. I didn't know that was an issue. <laughs> if, um, if you like D&D strategy games, you can play Dungeons & Dragons Dragon Shard. Finally. Metal Slug. Oh, there was a crime. That Metal. was one of the very few uh, real-time strategy games that I actually enjoyed, yeah. <laughs> it was Eberron, too, so. Eberron, yeah. Eberron doesn't get a lot of love. Just, what is Eberron? DDO is also in Eberron. Yeah, it was it was it was like a more mage punky setting as opposed to like um, the standard fantasy Lord of the Rings ripoff thing. Mage punk's a legitimate genre. Or you just make that up. It's legit. It is now. <laughs> Damn it! All right. It is now. All right. <laughs> Bad news. Well, I don't know. We we gotta figure out news. where we land on news, everyone. <laughs> yes. So, um, this uh little. Comment here made a bit of a hubbub earlier in the week. Um, Datsujin, uh, a.k.a. Um, this guy's name, who I can't remember right now, um, has basically said, hey, DXVK has gotten to the point where DirectX 11 is feature complete, but there are a bunch of, uh, there are a bunch of bugs that people are reporting that I can't fix, either because I don't have the hardware or I don't have enough information or so on and so forth. So he's saying um, that there's going to be um, there, there's gonna there's the work work on the uh, native port or the standalone DXVK the one that would allow you to just run uh, DirectX 11 natively under Linux is might be halted um, because right now they just want to uh, include some Vulkan extensions and merge D9VK fully into DXVK uh, and then put the project in maintenance mode and people are freaking out because you know. DXVK has been running at kind of a breakneck pace and it's been enabling people to play straight up games under Linux mm -hmm. in, and in many cases as good or better than under windows. Um, and yep. it's, it's, we, we have to take a moment to just realize the fact that it's remarkable that we even got to this fucking point right here. Mm -hmm. 
that within two years we had a fully open source compatible uh directx 11 compatible uh replacement library um oh. and yep. The, the, and it's been Josh who's been working on this primarily for the longest time. And he's starting to get a little burned out. And doing this kind of shit is hard. It also doesn't help that games aren't the best program pieces of software. So even if Direct DXVK perfectly implements DirectX, there'll still be weird hacky bullshit and driver implementations that you have to account for. That, the, like, GPU driver teams have dedicated resources specifically for this. And well, I think it's fair to say game ready drivers don't exist because people did this shit right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you you will doing something like this will require you to fight with that forever. And There's wine. No this is to, it, just ask the wine people how many times they've run into something that they implemented correctly. They know they implemented it correctly, but. There's that one use case that it's just not working as it should. Why? Because it's relying on some Windows bugs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at it like this, man. Um, the internet as a whole, which I think in a caring way, but ultimately unnecessary way was, you know, it's like, this is classic burnout and here's my advice. Mm -hmm. I think dude, dude's good on that. You know, for all we know, this could have been the result of just having a bad, Day and needing to get out some steam, man. We've all had that. Yep. I know I've done that. It's like, bruh, just burn it to the ground, man. I'm done. Which is like, ah, I feel better. Okay, back to work. Uh, <laughs> one of the things, uh, DXVK, going into maintenance mode, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Because you know what? Maintenance mode is better than, you know what? Fuck it, I'm out mode. Yeah. Which <laughs> could happen from, and as Jordan was saying, man, this project has allowed us to go from DX11, oh man, guess we'll never play that one too. Ooh, I hope it's DX11. So, you know, it'll be accelerated properly. With Proton, you think about just having a small project that you've started to you know, play these games under Linux, and then a year later, two years later, Steam's picked it up, and they're shipping something. That's that's a big transition, man. But It yeah. is. We get, Speaking of, I really hope that Valve is cutting this guy some substantial figure checks. Right. Because he's basically their <laughs> Linux strategy right now. Yeah, the, the yeah to be it's said him and the D9VK guy. It's uh, Philip and Josh, respectively. Yep. So, yeah, seriously, if you need to take a couple of weeks off, it's fine. No one's going to blame you for it. But, yeah, DXVK is awesome. And... For the most part, going, yeah, the, like you guys were saying, going into maintenance mode is not bad at all. No. It, just get the code base to wherever you need it to be, get the uh, standalone version working. That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah. Don't it, worry about anything. You don't owe anyone anything. If you want to tap yeah. out, tap out. That's yeah, 100%. It's your project. Do your I, thing. I, I, <laughs> and again, the, fa the fact that it's even gotten to this point is right. nothing short of a minor miracle. We've all been this entire time in amazement how many times we're like, this is such a breakneck pace. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good on you, mate. So yeah, we, 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 we appreciate your efforts. We, we all owe you one, all of us. Spe Alex speaking Smith, of Vulcan development. You may have heard, um, you might know, like, who is this person? Well, this person had to say, it's a sad day. It's my last day at Feral. It's been an awesome three years leading the Vulcan development. That's where you may know the name from. Um, and working on our first Switch boards. Thanks to everyone at Feral for being fantastic to work with. And to the Linux gaming community for playing all the ports I've worked on. Aww. So I wanted to throw this in because I thought it was news in two ways. One, there is some news that Feral has lost their lead Vulcan development human, which it's like, oh, that's... Hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, it is. Two, at least he's going to Sony, so we know what the PS5 is going to be using, which probably <laughs> is not a surprise to anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they were Plus, running BSD, right? So it doesn't take a whole lot to get that to work. And you know what? <laughs> on, on the bright side, if you're an aspiring graphics developer looking for a challenge and you're based in the UK, there may or may not be a position available for you. This is yeah. true. <laughs> Our B is exciting. Bees are totally exciting. Man, we, we we got we got like so many B related stories in this segment. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> Minecraft uh, 1.5, the Buzzy Bees update is available. This is previously available in the They're .net. So cute. They're, ah, bees. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, this was uh, available previously in uh, the .NET version. It's been ported to the Java version along with a bunch of other stuff. I think this brings the Java version in line with the uh, Windows version of Minecraft. Um, and yeah, a bunch of... Um, and yeah, apparently someone on, on Team Minecraft felt like brushing up their Java skills. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff about how the bees work. My knowledge of how bees work in Minecraft is tainted from Feed the Beast, which is a mod pack that lets bees make, like, uranium. So I'm not sure how these work currently. I don't think you can make uranium bees. <laughs> Sticky bees? It is. Look, this is uh, the Java, uh, Java version of Minecraft, and it... Yeah, whatever you can think of for Minecraft, someone's made a mod for it for this specific version. And yeah, this is the one that everyone's playing multiplayer on because of all the mods. And yeah, I I I went looking and I saw that I still had the um the launcher uh in one of the folders. It's like, "Oh, you need to update the launcher." It's like, "Right, fine, I'll download the new version." It's it's a jar Launched file. It. So it it works. It, no, the the launcher is not a jar file. The launcher no. is Electron from the look of things. Ooh. Uh, I haven't played yeah. Minecraft in like three years, so my... Back when I was playing it, it was a jar file. Yeah, the, the Minecraft itself is still mm -hmm. a jar file, but the launcher that Microsoft have created, that's it, yeah, basically a, yeah, Electron. Back, yeah. <laughs> I I bought it because it was a Linux game way back in the day, and uh, it was just a jar file. It was like, you know, jar, whatever, that, I just did sort of... And I, it's just not my thing. I, I, I enjoyed Legos, digital Legos. I it generated a map, I drew a dick, climbed up on the mountain, looked dick up drawn, and that was like the end of the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually finished the game I, after they introduced like the end. I oh, you beat, got to you beat the Minecraft? end. I beat Minecraft. Is, and okay. It's like, I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> is there a legit, is that like legit? Because something I do to screw with kids is I tell them I beat Fortnite. No, that, that I, I don't know enough about Fortnite to. And Fortnite has a single player campaign style of thing, so you can beat Fortnite. Didn't answer my question. Yes, it does. <laughs> Thank you. I thought there was a dragon. <laughs> yes, there is. that's DN Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Spe speaking of <laughs> speaking of dragons, though, I want you I want you all to look under your seats. Because you get bees, and you get bees, and you get bees. Everyone gets bees. Not uh, this the bees. Is, uh, this is cheesiness. Our uh, from cheesiness.itch.io. I have links to all this stuff in our show notes. I have time. It's basically Sim Opera. It's a bee management simulator where you build like honeycombs and hives and stuff. Um, it's pay what you want. So um, you should probably give them some uh, bucks just to support the development of. I think it's pretty cool, man. It's built with good o, so yeah, it's always nice to see that. But uh, this has got the hex grids, which I don't know. And then again, it has bees. So Beach. that might cancel out having to play a hex screen game. <laughs> Hive time. <laughs> Dude, um, it's out. It's a thing. Available for the old versions of Mac OS, because fuck new Mac oh. OS. <laughs> Man. 64-bit only. Good Kudos, Apple. That's, they did it. You give them credit. I mean... Well, I mean, they, they, they saw they saw a canonical, and they're like, "Man, we can do this. We can do <laughs> oh, this so hard." Wait, so the, doing that gets people to hate you? We're gonna do that. Mm. <laughs> also, 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 buy our sixty-five thousand dollars computer. This is yes, okay. <laughs> on, on the Apple thing, they can you imagine? Valve was like, "Uh, -uh. on Apple's like, have you paid attention to how we roll?" And they're like, "Oh shit! All right, I guess we better do that sixty-four bit client." <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, um, this is right up Pedro's alley. It absolutely is, and it looks like, freaking amazing. Can you run OBS on it? This is, uh, well, maybe. Uh, this is a PSX RetroPie, and, uh, well, someone decided to take... As our uh, resident old... shoving hardware inside of other hardware. Yes, it's like, uh, a, it's I like a PC uh, turn mini ITX turn, yeah. motherboard and a 2400G inside an Xbox 360. This person, on the other hand, cracked open an old um, Sony PSX, the original PlayStation, and pulled out all the innards and put a Raspberry Pi in it, along with a fan, and um, actually went through the trouble of uh, actually wiring the controller ports to a USB um, thing, 
And yeah, it's got USB plugs at the top. And if you plug in an actual PlayStation controller, it translates the um, translates the pen out from the PlayStation uh, controllers into USB. So that that's even more than I did. That that that's major kudos right there. Uh, also, put a fan. Uh, there's a fan at the bottom to keep the Raspberry oh, Pi cool. I like that hiding the uh, USB back behind the memory yep. card thing. Yeah, well done. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. This there's was a lot actually nice very touches. well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like uh, the the whole thing where like they 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 replace the CD ROM drive with the fan. I'm like, oh, that's that's kind of neat. Yeah, <laughs> it it gives like the the same sort of noise of having a disc in there spinning. And it keeps the Raspberry Pi cool. It's a it's major kudos. Slick, <laughs> slick job, man. And the thing about the PS ones, man, they're so plentiful. No one gets all screechy riri when you like sacrifice one yeah. to do something cool mm-hmm. like this. Which same with uh, same sort of thing with the Sega Genesis. There's so many genocide out there. <laughs> genocide. And Gen- Brazil keeps making them, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna hit the eject button yep. on that one. Hey, nope, man, nope, I nope, like nope, the fan nope. though. I'm, I, that, that that's cool. This, this is nothing but happy. And hey, man, it's got Linux. It's got a Pi inside. Yep. This, it's a Dan station. Good on you, Dan. I yep. would enjoy. <laughs> is there a guide? Is this just a pictorial? Does he? Yeah, I guess you should take um, a look. Yeah, you can follow. There, there's a lot of pictures, and he does a very good job of actually like going through all the steps. But yeah, the the whole taking the controller inputs and you know, just buying one of those uh, adapters that converts two um, PlayStation controllers into a single USB lead. Seriously. No, I'm so Very done good. with that, man. That That's better than making an <laughs> Xbox deck. And... That's your next project, Pedro. <laughs> You're going to shove a duck inside of an Xbox. Prepare yourself. It's going to smell horrible. No, 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 no. See, what we what we got to do is you got to cram an NES into an Xbox One Series S. I'm going to cram Stefan into an Xbox. Right. <laughs> that sounds sexy. Coming up next, it's time to did 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 duel and dig. Dig duel. Doug. <laughs> I was just, like catching up on the uh, comic book side of like World War Hulk. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What's his name? Um, Taiko, that character he played. Oh, one of the dudes is like a dick, man. <laughs> he was like killed his friend, killed his human friend when they got to Earth. Um, Meek. Oh yeah. Yeah. Apparently, apparently a little bit of a jackass. Yeah. Well, he yeah he he was very different on in like Guardian or in uh, Thor. Thor. Linux Gamecast snakes. <laughs> go to, speaking of that, go to vote.linuxgamecast.com. Vote on some show titles. Damn it. Voltron the Cocaine is still in the lead. <laughs> Esteban Trabaos. Trabaos? Trabaos. 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 My new sweater's <laughs> name is Stefan. Fuck you all. Boom. <laughs> Crack a cola, I'll give that a vote. I remember back in the day the OG screensaver show on the CDTV had a guy named Yo yeah, Yoshi was a I remember that. He had a beard or a goatee. Isn't that right, Stefan? Um, origin See. Origin PC also did that. He, they made like one of those concept PCs that they make. On one side was a PC, a reasonable specs. On the other side, you had um, the PS4, the Xbox One, and the um, Wii U. I think it was. It had all three of them on the other side. And it had a little switch uh, in the front of the case that could that would basically switch the um, which output you were looking at. I think it was Origin PC. Yeah. 
See, I tend not to get into projects like that because I, w I would go full psycho like dude just did with 3D printing and making it look just perfect. You know, it couldn't be like, mm -hmm. oh, it's a little bit. So I couldn't have like <laughs> done the Pedro, like, oh, well, we're going to have to put a fan here. Where's the Dremel? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, these things, they tend to break w because they overheated a lot. There's xbox 360s so we're going to need a bit more breathy holes <laughs> let's make a big one okay now that hole looks a bit nasty let's uh let's get a fan grill there <laughs> that's what everyone asks like where did you get that grill on the ebay's <laughs> sharkade just look them up they make good laser cut things Oh, no laser cutter, Do they make laser sharks? I can yeah. laser cut your shark. <laughs> How do you think they're cutting things? They have a shark with a laser, and they just drop the bit of acrylic into the uh, the pool, and it cuts it. <laughs> it's like, isn't that a bit unnecessary? It's like it's a little RNG, but it gets the job done. No, don't it. question our methods. We have a hold up on the it. plexiglass. <laughs> and quit your whining. <laughs> A laser shark cutter. That'd be great. <laughs> Just a, like stacks and stacks of cut in half henchmen. It's like he's trying his best. He's a shark. <laughs> <laughs> the return on investment is a little bit low, but yeah. <laughs> you make it for entertainment. what we're looking at we're paying attention to jordan but because jordan's running the new hotness Ooh. well oh jordan's the guinea pig tonight all right yeah. <laughs> jordan's the only one i had long enough <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised it's working as good as it is because the only ethernet cable i had that could reach from here to here without going through like this and killing me was mm. 20 meters <laughs> So there's a big spool of cable somewhere right now. <laughs> neatly, neatly, because I took a long time like spooling that. So I very gingerly like stretched a little bit here and a bit there. Then yeah, there's like in the middle. I haven't tripped over it yet. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> Blam! I have infinite faith in my ability to. Oh yeah, no, I'm just <laughs> expecting you to eat shit the second you get up and like walk off. Dude, <laughs> that if you notice the careful repackaging of Stefan. Like, mm -hmm. that, that's nothing but ow. But I, I'm sure I could catch myself on the glass desk as I pulled the, you know, 30, 35 kilo monitor stand down on top of myself. <laughs> <laughs> also, laser shark. Hashtag laser shark. Yeah. Is there anything you want for Hanukkah, Jordan? I have no idea. No? No? I mean, <laughs> if 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 so, if someone is insistent on spending money on me, I can probably come up with some stuff, but like there's nothing I want. Nothing like pressing. I mean, if someone wants to cover my airfare to scale this year, I don't love sure. you very much. Um <laughs> Thinking you wanna, like if, 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 you, if you want to buy me like a, like a R7 3900. How about storage cells? R9, but yeah. R9? Yeah. The the 95 watt one is still an R9? Yep, the I mean, 3900. I, I might currently be looking at things on your wish list trying to figure out what I'm getting. Um. <laughs> All right. I mean, if you want to get me that Schecter guitar that... or the Music Man 5 string, that'd be nice. It's out of stock. Yeah. Team I, you creepy know, party latex animal headmaster. <laughs> like I like I said on the wish list, it won't fit my head. Like, mm -hmm. it, uh, if you want to get me a wait, Switch Pro wait, controller, wait, 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 scroll back up. Wait, no. What? what? Nintendo Switch Joy Cons are 120 Canadian. <laughs> Dude, Canada's got its own money, man. <laughs> what the? F a 1050 Ti is 260. 
Oh, that's out. Boo. Damn it. That's what I was looking for. Buy me some 45 pound plates. I was going to. <laughs> Jeez, one new and used for 169. Mm -mm. We do need another one? What? Oh, um. I mean, maybe. <laughs> so, 220. So, what the hell? <laughs> Literally, what I did was I just like grabbed all the shit to like, the build room, a new and PC like, take more and put it all on the list. 219. I got the, uh, no, granted, I got the one here in the studio. You just like 83 bucks. I'm, you know what? I'm sure if I were more judicious about curating my wish list, there's like items on Amazon of like those same things for a lower price. Mm. Yeah, the Corsair 275R that my PC is currently in was 35 pounds. Mm. <laughs> The, the expensive case in here is from Linux Nero. That's the one Jackbox is in, which needs. What do they sell? Pencil yeah, the, the the case that El Cheapo is in was more expensive than the case that my actual computer is in. <laughs> hmm. I need something to make filter material out of. Pantios. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to think, where do you buy, <laughs> yeah, it's, where, where do you buy Pantios? Amazon. Or Secret, the Bay? <laughs> Mir, I guess the Bay is a Canadian company, so you wouldn't have that. So, like, Amazon Target sells winners? everything. <laughs> well, like that I can just go pick up instead of Walmart. ordering on Amazon. Walmart. That requires going to Walmart. Target. Ooh, then I can get all dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wear a, back in my day we wore a suit and tie to Walmart, or to a Target. Oh, they have met the chemist? All right. CVS. I don't know if Aldi does. I don't know if I trust Aldi. Aldi pantyhose? Pantyhose, dude. That might be a bit dodgy. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not using them for a Frankenfurter cosplay. No, we're you're not looking for, for fishnets. A... We're, we're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the simple ones. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I want to hook something up because I did look for like the filter kit for that case and there's like one company that makes it and they're like, fuck you, give us a hundred bucks. So I just laughed and closed mm -hmm. the page. I made a filter for the top of this case. I bought a um, perforated plastic sheet that was like A4 sized and um, three meters of that uh, magnet that has a little 3M... Oh yeah, adhesive sticker on the, the top. Three M. I need things stuck to thing. They got a. They have one. Yeah. It doesn't matter what type <laughs> of material you need. Three M's got you covered. So man. yeah, for like uh, five pounds total, I got a filter for the top of this case. <laughs> you know, I could keep dust out if I just put it in a trash bag. The whole thing. If you just wrap your head in a trash bag. You can solve all your problems. <laughs> Not really. Then, then you'll find out that asphyxiation is your superpower. I don't know how it works out. Like I, said, like I said, after you're done, you won't have any more problems. <laughs> Pantaloon? Party hose? Mm -hmm. What? Party hose is something very different. <laughs> yeah, Stefan, he's a party hose. <laughs> Goes up your butt. Also, Anywho, uh, I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be back. <laughs> Stay away from Pedro's sweaters. That's all I would. Right? Um, yeah. D <laughs> no. Don't touch anything that belongs to Pedro. And if you have, you know what? Burn Safe your bet. That that's probably the smart way to play yeah. that. Good rule hunting. Did you? Do you have like any desire to see the Jane Silent Bob movie? I do. I think I'm, I'm gonna watch not, it. Yeah, I'm, I'll I'll probably wait till it's like available on whatever or on the local video store. I saw a like Google News thing when I got back to the house. People are already starting to camp out for the Star Wars. That doesn't surprise me. Ooh, that's like ten days away, though, isn't it? Uh, it's coming out Nine days? Thursday, so a little under a week. Under a week, seven, six days. Yeah. A metric week. A baker's week. Try five blue. What? What? Hmm? Yeah, I haven't ordered them. I 
If we go to connector, I would have to go buy a lot of stores to get to the Okoda connector. I don't even know what that is. It's like a little loop. I got a CVS relatively close. I have a CVS and I have Walgreens next to the country club. I didn't even know that was a store. What is it? Have you ever heard of Five Below? Oh, 99 cents. Nope. That's why I've never heard of him. That might be fun. To see what mangled, disfigured items for 99 cents. I wonder if we can build a computer at the 99 cent store. Oh, no, no. See, ch challenge mode is can you go grocery shopping and feed yourself for a week? How much money do you have? Not true fitty. True fitty? I don't know, like maybe 20 bucks. At a 99 cent? Oh. Do, do, are we talking like you have to physically be alive at the end of that week? Or. I mean, technically, it takes you three weeks with no food to die, so. Here's where I'm at is. Okay, I You're think at the week 2.999. Difficulty is for a 99 cent store would be you'd have to do it by calories. You have to meet a minimum yeah. caloric intake. During per day during that week, in order for the challenge, other than I'm like, Psh, it's not gonna eat anything for a week. Yeah, that would, that would require a little bit of math, but we could do it. It'd be doable. So Pedro, we got a new challenge for you. Okay. Live for a week, only eating food from the 99, 99 cent store. Could you do it? But here's I the do. difficulty multiplier. You have to consume X amount of calories per day the entire week. Well, I don't know about the X amount of calories, but I did uh, basically live off of Poundland when I first moved here. Because, you know, money. <laughs> hmm. It was uh, literally the um, noodle cups. Uh, there was two for a pound, so it's like, oh, that's uh, lunch, dinner. <laughs> yeah, no, the, 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 it was the two of us. We had to eat, and we had no money. So yeah, pound land. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I mean the, the 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 cheat mode is rice and beans, right? Like. Well, my cheat mode was uh, I lived a week off of a bag of rice and a thing of squeezy yellow mustard because I had five dollars. Yep. In university, <laughs> man. I mean that. I mean I wasn't homeless broke, but I was. Uh, I had five bucks the last seven, no, eight days. So yeah, <laughs> rice. It'll keep you alive. That's what it yep. should say on Noodles. the back. Noodles. Uh, calories. <laughs> calories. <laughs> I learned that, uh, as it turns out, noodles are pretty tasty if you, you know, can't afford anything else. That, that's when you know you're running low on the monies, man. I think we've all been there when you, when you have a, a wide selection of sauces. Like, on the right. yeah. 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 Just eating mayonnaise out of a jar with a spoon. Mm -mm. Oh, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> do you know what I tried this week? Uh, the uh, hippie uh, sour cream. Okay. Not a fan. Okay. Yeah. And I was assured that it tastes like regular moo squeeze sour cream. I like me some sour cream. Hmm. Like some corn chips? Yeah. It might have been good with some corn chips. Just like straight, like mainlining it. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's... Hmm. I don't know. Mac and cheese and spam, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> fancy spam. <laughs> yeah, spam. It's like a teeny tiny little can of spam as a pound. No. <laughs> Secret ingredients, water. All right, let me get a reason. And... Just get Secret the big cups of, uh, yeah, just get the big cups of noodles. And it's like, yeah, they're pretty tasty. And they have plenty of uh, calories in them. Uh, like like like, yeah. I, like I said, every, every everyone overlooks rice and beans. They're like, yeah, you gotta do it with ramen noodles. No man, you can buy like a giant fucking bag of rice for ten bucks, and like a giant fucking bag of dehydrated beans for ten bucks, and you have like about two weeks worth of food. If you're eating like three. Mira, that's three like five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the hell's Let's a lemon? See, is that available on uh, Amazon UK? Because I might buy that just for this. <laughs> oh, so so Jill, you're you were just eating candy, getting scurvy. No, it's the not original mess free glitter Amazon. for adults. What? Hey? <laughs> I googled lemon heads. <laughs> Litter for adults. Okay, that uh, in pounds, that's a bit more. And they want 11 pounds shipping from the US. Screw that! <laughs> Sorry, Mir, I'm not going to be, uh, no. <laughs> um, Mr. Alert, I, I, I think you're mistaking actual lemons with lemon candy. Which has no such thing, only sugar. Oh, lemon heads like uh, from um, David Tennant series. The Where Amazon those Prime babies? ones. Oh, um, good omens. Yes. Uh, you know, Son of the Devil Kid was leaving um, lemon heads or lemon, lemon sherberts. <laughs> Instead of the nuclear reactors, yeah. <laughs> I want to get a, I want to get a pack of uh, milk Miracle Berry powder though. I want to, I want to do that <laughs> thing where like you try a bunch, of, bunch of sour shit. Have you ever done the mil Miracle Berry challenge, Ven? Hang on, I, uh, four packets of um. Sour lemon. lemon lime. Yeah, it's a bit tart, son. <clears throat> I like it. What were you so? You ever, you ever do the Miracle Berry thing where, it like, you take one of the Miracle Berry tablets that suppresses your ability to taste sour? Funny you should mention that. Uh, no. I like sour. Do you know what I really like? I like... Have you ever had a crab apple? Have they invented those in Canada? I... Uh, there are there were crab apple trees where I grew up. I've never eaten them. Mm. <laughs> They're not venomous. No, but like I I learned about this later. Where like the the domesticated apples that we eat are like bred to be sweet. Apples in their natural state are like super bitter. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Genus malice. <laughs> So, Mir, next time in, I'm in California, are you going to, like, fucking snort a rail of pixie sticks? <laughs> what? What's the pixie? whole eating powdered sugar thing as a kid, I never got that. I don't, I'm not a candy guy. <laughs> Same. Uh, who makes it? The, the little tiny... Really bitter, fucky thing candies. Um, Fisherman's friend? No, that's cough drops. Uh, yeah, and those oh, used heads? to be. Um, heads, yes. Those those aren't bad. That that's a candy. I don't mind those. I have I have a I like fisherman's friends too. though. I do. I will I will I will just like fucking shovel shit in my mouth idly. <laughs> do you have like a particular candy that you would not say that something you would purchase on a weekly basis? Like uh, Swedish berries or Sour Patch Kids or something. Yeah, something like that. Skittles. Yeah. Or... And now all yeah, the I need to stay I away from like the chocolate used. aisle in Tesco's because they have the lion bars. Just you can buy like a thing with ten lion bars. Like, <laughs> give me. <laughs> yeah. I've... I just don't like sweets. Sours, I don't like. So. Um, boom. All right.
What is the... <laughs> Man, fuck Australia sometimes, dude. I mean... What's going on there? Like... <laughs> See, okay, here's the thing, man. Australia, Australians are awesome, but you got shit like that. Can you imagine, like, being a little drunk and, like, bumping into that in the night? My brain wouldn't handle that. I'm like, nope. I mean, <laughs> then the thing would, like, kick you in the ribs and you'd go down and then you'd stay down. <laughs> Maybe. Right. I just, like, kangaroo with a bad attitude. <laughs> It looks like it wants to eat my toe. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sequel to Lamas with Hats, Kangaroos with Hats. <laughs> Carol! Carol! <laughs> <laughs> the Arnold Schwarzenegger Car Carl, yeah. <laughs> There's a human out here on my dick. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> uh, all right. Carl, let's go out the bush, Carl. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's the Portuguese British. The I most can't do an dangerous accent because I have a cold. Australians known to. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, an unspecified error. <laughs> That's my favorite kind, OBS. Yeah. Please contact your system administrator. Oh, but, shit. Uh, but I am my system yeah. administrator. <laughs> okay, we are rolling. In... In three, two... Peasants, kneel down. The time is here Hang for on. the acquisition. Where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Neon, no. and Debian. And then, only then, can the ask question be asked, was it fun? This week we're taking a look at Shovel Knight King of Cards by Yacht Club Games done on a C++ engine that they wrote themselves. Uh, you can pick it up for about 10 bucks, or if you bought the Shovel Knight Treasure Tube, you have it for free. What is it? Step into the gilded boots of King Knight and the biggest, most regal Shovel Knight game of them all. Leap, shoulder bash, twirl, gather new subjects. Strategize your way through this prequel in your quest to become the King of Cards. Uh, Yacht Club sent us some keys, so thank you very much for that, sir. It was great. Uh, let's get started. Uh, then how to, how to run. Dude. Oh, let's see if I can hit the right things this week. Uh, yeah. Boop. Yeah. Da 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 da. Oh. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Haha, <laughs> deal with it. Uh, dude, over here on Debian 10.2 on the 1920X, 32 gigs RAM, NVIDIA 2060, all that hotness, NVMEs, dust played it, UHD all over your face. Uh, it, it, no issues whatsoever. I mean, this is kind of what you expect from Yacht Club. That business, and that business is, is going to work, which it does, out of the box, no issues. Performance-wise, this hipster pixel, we were kind of talking about this uh, during the break. What I really like from these cats is, you know, it it's just going to run. It's going to be very performant, even on toaster-level hardware. So no issues at UHD at 2160. I mean, solid 60. Them graphics, them pixels, them hipstered, just dandy. I like it. I, I like the art style. I... You know, give Hipster Pixel um, some grief, but not when it's done right. It's done right here. There's no graphical artifacts, or yeah, I guess you could say maybe it's not accurate. If you remember back in the Nest days, when you couldn't have but so many sprites on the screen before things got fady. Controls? I tried it with everything, man. The X Clone, PS4, Steamy Controller. Boom. Loved it. PS4, you even had the correct button props. So, as soon as I can find my trackball, which is in front of me, that, that didn't come out right anyway. <laughs> Four chips. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 3064-bit with the 6700K with the hyper-threading enabled and the mitigations turned on because I'm a Ooh, crazy person. Brave. Yeah, uh, yeah um, it does, in fact, launch. I, I guess there's a 1080 Ti in there, but, I mean, that doesn't really matter for this game. Um, performance at 1080p, there's pixels and, you know, there's just, there's just so many pixels. It will drive you insane. Uh, control wise. Yeah. With steam input, without steam input, it wasn't seeming to like my dual shock all that much. Um, although Pedro brought up in the pre, pre super shows and that maybe I should have tried via Bluetooth because apparently it works fine with Bluetooth. This is one of those weird situations where wired does not work. I didn't like how it felt on the uh, steam controller. So I ended up settling on the, uh, Xbox classic. Good choice. Whatever. It works. It yeah. works perfectly fine. 
there's a reason it sort of became the default uh, PC controller because right. it does its job. Um, so uh, I will give it three chairs. That. Yeah, and over here in KDE Neon with the Ryzen 7 uh, 3700X and the GTX 1080, it launches. It launches just fine. The performance uh, with VSync on on my 144 hertz uh, refresh rate monitor, it caps the frame rate, but anywhere between 62 and 63. So clearly, that VSync is just lies. Whatever it's doing, I'm not sure, but it, it is full of lies. Uh, the graphics, yeah, look at this juggernaut right there. Uh, it, yeah, everything renders just fine. Um, and yeah, the controls, the DualShock 4 uh, V2 version uh, worked out of the box. And like Ven already mentioned, it had the absolute correct prompt. So very good on them, four chairs. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Yacht Club knows how to make a game. But well do they done, know how to make girl. a fun game? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh man, do we got a support of yeah. oh, <laughs> Jesus fuck this thing's Nintendo hard out of the box, man. Um the really my only legitimate complaint was directly related to the level of just nightmare difficulty for my old ass out of the box was like right at the beginning, your mum. It's like, yo, remember to press up to talk to people versus to what I actually got to the part to talk to people. Like, how do I talk? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Man, game. It took me a minute to get there, but that's on me, not on you. What do we have here? We have hipster pixel platforming done right. That's what we have here. Because by right, I mean Mega Man, Rock Man, NES style. The original really reminded me of Mega Man. This, eh, a little bit. Because this revision, it does away with the shovel and replaces it with what you're seeing on the screen there. More of a dash and um, more of a dash spin. You know, that really seems simple at first. But the Mario-inspired spin jumps after that, that's what follows. That adds a whole new dimension of just, damn it! Damn it. <laughs> a word I found myself saying aloud mm, more often than I think any other game in my first hour of play throughout 2019. So, got club. Well done. Well done. And I was enjoying myself when I was doing that. Uh, because it kept me coming back. And we've discussed multiple times on this show, this very show, how difficult that is to do. To actively have something that will piss off the player. Cause the player to maybe not rage quit, but... My, little as makes no difference. Get a few steps away from it and go, you know what? I, I'm i coming back to it. And it did that. It really managed it well. So, you know, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, then I ran into the card game. That's a real thing. They kind of give it away in the title. So I wasn't necessarily surprised or upset unnecessarily. I was waiting for it to kick in. But to the game's credit, you know... It starts out with that Wicked Heart platforming, so you know what's up right from the start. It's not until a few levels in, much more progression, closing in on that first hour mark, that you have to deal with the card nonsense. Spoilers, not a fan of RNG card bullshit. That said, the game did a proper job of explaining how to card correctly, and on the surface, it was simple enough that even I could figure it out, which is always a bonus. Uh, it's about capturing jewels, hot, steamy, freshly shaven jewels, and... At the end of the day, it's still a card game, go. I mean, it's card mechanic inside of my Wicked Hard Fuck You platformer. So, man, to the card stuff, you, I don't know if I'm ever going to have my opinion changed on that. But shortly after that first match, it was like right back to the hell of platforming. So it would appear, at least to me from what I've played, that you can kind of deal with the card sections. Kind of like a Manos, Hannah Fate. You know, it's like get back to the combat stuff, which I enjoyed more than the RNG card stuff in that game. But don't quote me on that, since I am aware that there's a... Uh, it's not as simple as I'm making it I, on the surface, I think, to bullshit my way through the card sections. But there is deck building and uh, several of the mechanics that exist, along with, like, power-ups that allow you to just straight-up cock with your opponent, like, swapping out their cards and nerfing stuff. So that could be fun. I likes it. It's more Shovel Knight. And at the end of the day, it, it, it's fun, man. So, yeah. I'm going to say check this out. 
Yeah, we more more precision platforming, my favorite. Uh, no, like 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 racing games. It's a genre I can respect, even if I don't particularly enjoy it. And Yacht Club Games continues to make good quality ones with uh, level design reminiscent of like a lot of old N- Nintendo Super Nintendo games. But they they don't do the thing that a lot of people making retro style games will do, where they like, oh, we need to make the games exactly as they were. No, there's a lot of like modern convention and uh, design here that makes it all. It, it it enables stuff like speed runs and like single life runs, or if you just don't care about stuff, you can continue on with your life. It's it's pretty good. Um, the platforming is now a dash and spin mechanic where you, you know you dash and stuff, mostly enemies in certain terrain because there's some you can't uh, spin off of, and then you start spinning like a pretty gold ballerina. And you know you can you can say you can say there's something to be said for uh, restrictive modes of gameplay forcing the player to adhere to a specific set of constraints, and you can could squeeze a lot of compelling gameplay out of those constraints because you know you you force people out of their comfort zone. I I can I can respect that. As for the card game, yeah, it's it's, it's meh. I mean, place cards so that you can push them later. Make sure you don't get pushed. Got to beat the schmucks to move on. I don't care about card games, so I <laughs> stop playing after that. Um. I mean, yeah, like like Ven said, there there are many moments in this game where you will just like get up and walk your ass away and just be like, you know what, fuck this, and then you come back and you're like, okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry, baby, let me try again. Um, and yeah, it 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 plays like a Nintendo heart, it plays like an NES game, right? So it's it's pretty unforgiving. But the modern convention that stops you from like getting game over screens and have to like start from the very beginning, that's nice. I like that. Um, I'll give it two chairs. It's all right. Um, if you like Shovel Knight, you'll probably like this. It's more of the same. If you don't, then you won't. Actually, I did not, uh, like Shovel Knight. I did not like Shovel Knight at all. Um, it no re- represented a glorification of nostalgia for old, hard, hipster pixel platformers. And it didn't really do anything that was different enough to make me enjoy it. King of Cards, on the other hand, I would say does do a couple of different things and introduces the whole card game. Um, you just died. Yes, I did. Uh, that happens a lot. <laughs> uh, the um, as someone who enjoyed like Triple Triad and uh, Final Fantasy VIII and Bazak and Knights of the Old Republic, I can absolutely see the appeal of Joustus, the uh, card game that's uh, being featured here. Uh, and as tired as I am of hipster pixel platformers, limiting the character to only being uh, able to attack with the shoulder bash and the dash that uh, precedes it, and then the uh, little spin that uh, comes afterwards, is uh, it helps. It, it it certainly helped me enjoy the game a heck of a lot more because, oh, my movement is uh, tied to my attack mechanic and I have to make use of it to actually get through levels like yes yes i i like that i like being limited by that because i don't know for some reason uh that in my brain made it oh it's not an action platformer anymore it's a puzzle platformer and i was okay with that so yes my brain appreciated the extra bit of um required thought uh as how to get to the next platform and actually how you actually progress through the level and how you actually defeat certain bosses so while I didn't enjoy Shovel Knight, I very much did enjoy uh, King of Cards. Three chairs. Okay, well, there you go. That's all right. Check it out. It's 10 bucks. It's not going to cost you much. And you yep. may have already had it <laughs> if you uh, bought the treasure trove. Dude, any any uh, final thoughts? I think it's well done. It, like, I went back and I played the original. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember this is Mega Man, which children i just kind of recommend but they've done a lot of fun things it's got a good sense of humor to it it doesn't take itself too seriously and um evil when it does handstands man 999 so you can't beat it right, yeah the, the, the price is definitely right for this one and yeah it most likely won't change your opinion about uh hipster pixel platformers but i don't hate hipster pixel platformers i just hate the ones that revel in their own nostalgia and do nothing else and this one didn't Mm. good on it (laughs) okay then coming up next we're apparently gonna go through the wardrobe into the closet into the magical land of tarnia and also basil that has many things to say to pedro (laughs) many (laughs) Many. (laughs) 
Oh, that was you. One day I'll get the Piccolo disrobe right. Pickle Lotus? <laughs> oh, yes. Is yeah. A, oh, it needs to be weighted. Yeah. Weighted wizard ropes. <sighs> oh. That's a Patreon goal. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it That's... is now. <laughs> Five kilos worth of uh, just a uh, hood. <laughs> Five kilos? It's got to be sporting, man. At least 20. I can do that. <laughs> yeah. I can put a hundred kilos over my head, no problem. So, yeah. Sitting down the trip yard. Man, we got a tie with Cracker Cola and Voltron. <laughs> Dang, I got you. So many genocide DE. It's the oh, like. bond. Uh, I was really hoping for Esteban Travayos. I gave it a vote. Yeah. Jingle all the sleigh. Was that something we said? Yeah. The L is silent. Just like Lamb with a silent L. Clarice. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Carice. Oh man, all L's are silent from now on. When you're dealing with Hannibal, for sure. Yeah. I mean, the B works in Lamb being silent. That makes sense, but... I love first-person shooters. I just like good ones, anyways. <laughs> I mean, that's too easy. Did we not do insurgency? I don't think we did. I don't no. think we did, no. Do we not have it? We do. I do. I don't know if you guys do. <laughs> it may have been in like a bundle sometime. Mm -mm, no. Insert gun C? No. <laughs> it's insert gin C. <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to assume Pennywise spelled it. I'm using a search engine. <laughs> Nothing found. Yeah, the event for me is different. It was... <sighs> I definitely have it, because I played it for a minute. Like the little tutorial thing where they're like, oh, shoot a thing. <laughs> shoot a kangaroo. I, I was surprised. I mean, I was expecting precision platforming. Um, <laughs> mm. And card games. Yes, they have infamy, not insurgency. Ah, uh, see, that's <laughs> one of the problems. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, how, how are you not a hobbit? Pretty much, man. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't think I meet the height requirements for a hobbit. It's a CSGO. <laughs> I don't know, dude. In, like, Finland, weren't you a little shouty? I was, I was like... A, Average height. Average height. Maybe, maybe a little, maybe a little below average. But yes, uh, Foxy was uh, covering for me in the episode that you guys reviewed Day of Infamy. <laughs> People have their games, man. And like, I'm just sad that. I mean, hopefully Proton will run it fine. No. That would. That would be like. Well, we, 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 well, we, need, we need to get some like funding and like hardware funneled to to old Phil, mm -hmm. so that I don't I'd know. I, actually, you, you know what? what? We we need we need like more contributors. I think Valve should like hire some full time people to like be subservient to Philip, and <laughs> like I don't know, make him sandwiches. Straight up hire the dude. Feet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
getting a stable paycheck would be very nice, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Have, having having access to resources to test your shit, also good. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it could be like one of those weird times because I hear Feral might be looking for someone familiar Maybe, with yeah. Vulcan. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Are you going to play Alien Isolation on your Switch? No. <laughs> no? Still haven't finished it on PC. Aw. Well, now you can pick up where you left off in your hands. <laughs> I would, you know what? I would straight up do Alien Isolation in VR. That would mess you up. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah, that, that would <laughs> make you very, very paranoid. <laughs> I would be happy with it as long as I had, like, live rounds um <laughs> we'll hand you a gun and we'll tell you if the rounds are live how about that i don't know how about you stay in the room we'll surprise find out rounds right. <laughs> yeah. it's a new type of russian roulette hard move <laughs> no alien isolation is a game that perfectly encapsulates what it is like to be a character in an alien movie I does a f- I, now I want to play Alien Insulin where the alien's diabetic. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to sneak up behind it and actually shoot no, it. No, yeah, you, in, in, instead of a flamethrower, you chuck like <laughs> Snickers bars at it. Dude, you, you, you're trying to maintain the alien's sugar level. Yeah. <laughs> Between leaving out tasty sweets and making sure he gets his proper amount of insulin. There, 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 there is straight up a character in Marvel Comics named Marcus. And his deal is that he is a centaur who was bitten by a werewolf, who was also possessed by the Venom symbiote. Um, and his one weakness is that he's a diabetic and needs to manage his blood sugar. That, that sounds like some straight up Marvel shit. <laughs> so a centaur wolf that's diabetic. Who's also, and he's also he's a got Venom. the Venom parasite. All mm. right. Cool. <laughs> No, I know you can get the um, Venom thing. What about, like, is Carnage just a singular... So, um, takes your ass so, over, turns you into a Zombatron? No, uh, Carnage is also a, like, Venom symbiote. There, there's, like, some weird shit in the comics going on about how they, they changed the backstory of them again. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the idea is, like, um, Car- Car- Carnage is Venom's, like, baby. Um... Mm. Like, the, the, the Venom symbiote, like, shat out another symbiote, and that was Carnage. So, like, it follows the same rules, but I think the problem was the guy that the Carnage symbiote originally bonded to was, like, a serial killer. And hmm. so maybe I think the symbiote itself went insane. So, like, currently, Venom's, like, the anti-hero... Yeah, well, so, and and then there's, like, multiple Venoms, because there's, like, Anti-Venom 2, where, like, um, it, it turns out that Eddie Brock, the original Venom, if you're not counting Peter Parker, Spider-Man, um, uh, like, he, because he had, like, had the Venom symbiote on and off so much, like, his DNA changed, so now he can, like, he can produce a, his own, like, symbiote effect that actually kills the other symbiotes, hmm. and, like, he can... He has, like, all his normal Venom powers, but he can also just, like, heal people because he, he's, like, a giant anti-cancer drug. Symbiote Jesus, all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, Jordan played through the entirety of Serious Sam that was open. Yeah. Ah. CS Go just... We just wanted to fuck around with the, um... Battle Royale. Yeah. I've um, never... I bought CSGO just to, like, Valve. And, and it went free to play. I, I I mean, like, I'm always down to play Serious Sam. It's just, you know... I've been, I've been tr- like, we, we went we went through all of Shadow Warrior. We went through both Borderlandses that were native on Linux. Mm-hmm. Um, slowly piddling our way through Divinity. Um, are there, like, uh, you, 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 you guys did uh, Meet the Freemans. Mm-hmm. I don't know, are there, like, other co-op shooters? <laughs> yeah, we need to get, uh, well, we need to see if Synergy will support, uh... Yeah. Oh, we, 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 did, we did, we did, we did Left for Brad. Black Mesa I've, now. Yeah. I just need more people with Vermintide. I would, I would 100% do a full playthrough of Vermintide. 
I mean, if you give me uh, heads up, I mean, I can't promise you every single week, but. I but mean, yeah, like, but I, I mean, like, I'd, I'd like to have like maybe three or four people in at a time. Mm -hmm. If you do it so a bit that, earlier, I can do it. <laughs> I mean, I do it so that like the timing is that I get home from work, I take a shit, and then I set up the stream. Okay. Usually in that order. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, usually when you start your stream, it's like 1.30 in the morning here. So it's like, hey, yeah, no, because like, because <laughs> like if, if we can get the timing lined up, I don't want to do I want to do a Neverwinter Nights playthrough with you. I think that yeah. would be fun. I would um, watch that just because. Yeah, dun be Dungeons and Dumbasses. We already have a name for it. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we definitely if we can get. See, that's the thing. If we want more people playing, if it's going to be because people are going to be showing up, they're like. Hey, let's. I want to play with you guys, and you know, there's two of us. Then the oh, now I want to play. <laughs> like, but we we started five minutes. I was like, what's what's this bullshit? You should have told me earlier. <clears throat> Jordan with his red stripes. I got white stripes. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> That's what the switch is for. Scott. Scott plays video games when he poops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I read Reddit like a normal person. <laughs> yeah, Reddit, Twitter. Yeah. Our videos. Yeah, you did. Mm. <laughs> the Google Now news feed, that's what I read on the toilet. <laughs> that's usually before I go to bed. I, I tap that G button. I'm like, what do you got for me? Ah, my eyes. Um, tap that. Yeah, tap that G button, fam. No dark theme. No dark oh. theme. No, Dark Theme actually works on it now, which is nice. <laughs> okay, can, here, here. user interface designers of the world, please, I implore you, just make Dark Theme standard. Mm. Okay, well, I want you to hear me out, okay? Fuck you, that's why? I'm going to give you a Dark Theme, <laughs> but it's going to be brilliant. I got this great idea. Before the Dark Theme launches, we're going to um the app is initially going to open to an all-white, super bright screen, then go into Dark Mode. Right. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. You'll get best of both worlds. Yes, you're going fucking to crackhead developers out there that blank. think that's a good idea. It's not. I'm like, oh, no. yay! I have dark. Oh, now it's dark. Okay, I have apps that I know at night to close my king eyes before I open them and wait yeah, until close, the avert your gaze. Like, right. Then it goes back into deck. dark mode. Yeah, tweet deck. <laughs> Games. Oh, Scott, I, I really like the idea of you playing like analog games like the little bubble game where you try to get the hoops up on the <laughs> Yeah. He's like it doesn't need batteries. I could poop all day. <laughs> See, I, I, I had an I had, I had an idea for a Thursday stream that would be like fucking um I don't I don't it would either be like super fascinating or super boring and mm. like there's there's no there's no in between, but like Solitaire tabletop traveler, um, like I don't know the, what that is. So it's it's, it's like a it's like a t tabletop RPG from the seventies. You can play it by yourself. Like the rules like give you shit to do. So you can you can be like simultaneously the game master and the player, and like it's not entirely bullshit. Um, but um, like like I said, it'll it'll either be like super entertaining or it'll be just super boring, and I I see no middle ground. Fair enough. And I, I, I don't I don't know what it will be, but it's going to be one of those two things. I've learned one on Twitch. Apparently, Saturday afternoon is like D and D day because also Twitch. I know, I was curious. I always try to watch like D and D like mm -hmm. streams. So like I, I I should like this somehow. Like maybe somebody will find the right way to film it, you know, stream it live, and if anybody that could do that, but. Yeah, that that's Saturday, man. And why is a lot of people are doing it and all of them have like three viewers. And I'm talking like there's some high end productions too. Oh, there are there are just because it's so saturated now. Mm, everyone's uh, doing it. Right. Yeah, no, cause, yeah, no, because OB, OBS makes it really, really easy. You can get in like a Zoom or a Skype room, make a little overlay, chop everything up, have a little browser window with Roll20 in it. And yeah, you're pretty much good to go. Um, the problem is that there are just so many of them and each of these things take like, are between like two to four hours long. 
Yeah. So, so like what what I would do was uh, like um, role play for example, um, it me JP's channel. I subscribe to his Patreons because he puts um he puts he has a he has a Patreon RSS feed like what we have. And I just download the MP3s and I listen to them while I'm at work or I'm at the gym or whatever. And like it, it's the same thing for like the uncut show. If you have long stretches of time that you just need background noise, background for, noise it's great. That yep. yeah, might occasionally like hey, that's interesting. Yeah, I could totally release the uncut as a MP3 as well, but. No one's ever like, hey, that'd be great, because, you know, you're at work, just put it in a YouTube tab and... Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, some 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 people, like, work at grocery stores or shit and, like, have to push shopping carts around. Man, that's one of the reasons I started doing the uh, podcast, because I've had absolute shit jobs before. It was like, man, I wish I had something to listen to. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Something to fill, fill the space. Like slut dragons. Ah... <laughs> It's even better now that I know you're watching. <laughs> why does this feel so? Why does this feel even better now? Ah, oh, is it because you're watching? <laughs> then we have the cat. <laughs> hey, man, aren't you? Aren't you gonna ask why I'm talking? The no story. I'm like, no, oh, I'm gonna go to Florida. <laughs> Don't what, worry, what do Jerry. One of us will remember. All they do is do do drugs and you know, do cocaine <laughs> and ride around on their yachts. It'll be great. Who pooped? And barely covered up the sun and like he did. That was great. Yeah. That that cat that that was in right at there at the end of man. Um that was It was like uh, Oh god, oh god. Someone has to remember. <laughs> Someone will. Uh A, I love stuff like that. B, I know that I'll never get addressed again, but still. Yep. Yeah. But that but that that's the joke, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it's it's we're, we're we're talking about Alien. Alien is effective as a horror movie because for the vast majority of the film, you don't see the fucking alien. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's your brain. Your your brain will come up with scary and funny shit that's way scarier and way funnier to you than anything anyone else can come up with. So you just gotta like create the framework where you can encourage that level of thought. It's the way Amnesia did it. You're actively encouraged to not look at the monster. I'm talking about um, the Dark Descent. The Insane machine for pigs media. was different. Yes. That's Chinese room. That no, uh, but yeah, machine uh, for Dark pigs Descent was good right up until the point where you realize like the NPCs weren't going to do anything to you. Oh, mm-hmm. dude, I, I, I get like uh, watch the speed run. Like, watch an SGDQ do, SGDQ speed run of. Machine for Pigs, and you will just see how busted that game actually is. Yep. <laughs> it's it's so funny. It's hilarious. If, I'm just going to clip through this wall and jump, and I'll land at the ending. Dude, I mean, <laughs> like, up until I encountered, like, a, not that bad of a bug, but to a bug, I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> I'm going to put this chair yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Wee- ah, their weakness is furniture. <laughs> if you're operating under the, you know, alien thing of like, don't, oh shit, 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 that worked. The game was great. Like right up to that point, like oh. Yeah. Well, that, that was the thing too. Is alien gave you false hope. It gave you a gun. It gives you like, yeah, you might be able to fight. No, no, you can't fight. Then again, some of the very entertaining <laughs> videos is the bug fest that is that alien game and fucking mm-hmm. with the alien and watching that thing spaz the hell out. <laughs> I mean, that game is riddled with bugs. So, why does my... All right, let's go. (laughs) We're doing two twos. There we go. All right. Two twos? Yeah, it's something with... Vulcan beta driver. Did your arm track five? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? Are... These accusations flying around. Jeez, of course I had arm track five, Pedro. <laughs> I'm a little faith, man. All right. Hate mail coming to you in three, two. 
And well, maybe that review uh, changed your um, perception of hipster pixels, or maybe it didn't. Either way, chances are you can probably tell us something that's really, really um, offensive. And, well, we'll take it. Yay. We'll absolutely take it. We'll take it like a champ. And you can do that by going to LinuxGameCast.com. Like a diabetic alien with a go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, alien you need space insulin, insulin to keep you going. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, and make sure LGC Weekly is the show that you're sending your hate mail to. And we will feature it right here, right now. And, uh, yes, track five is our... <laughs> We don't know where it is, but it is armed, so keep a look. Get out. down! Get down, <laughs> Mr. President! We've kept it full of arm uh, insulin, so the arms don't fall off. <laughs> it's full of raspberry pies. Clearly. That sounds like exactly like something a controller stickler would say. Mm -hmm. Full of arms. <laughs> like, still that. Wow, that's or a Santa long Claus. one. <laughs> okay, Santa so... Summing it up, Sildad sent us a bit of hate mail about, uh, well, we talked a while back about the um, new light guns that are being created. Uh, one of them was being developed by, what was his name? Um, light gun. Andy Sinden. And uh, yeah, it's like, because light guns nowadays, they don't work because LCDs don't work like CRTs. So the light gun can't actually see what you're pointing at. But it's um, a very long-winded way to say that he sort of sees w where I was coming from for the arguments I made against, you know, light guns nowadays. It's like, do we really need that? But at the same time, his question was, uh, how difficult would it be for wine developers to forcefully create the border that the wine versions of the light gun games that showed up for Windows uh, created that little overlay? There's also a Raspberry Pi uh, thing that creates that very same overlay. Um, and what was it? Um, using compatibility mode on Windows and letting the driver for the Sinden light gun layer um, draw its border over the gameplay. Maybe Strider could also look into it and maybe come up with a way to get the border around the gameplay, I'm guessing for Lutris. Lastly, kudos to Andy Sinden uh, for developing scripts and turning a Raspberry Pi into a mod box that overlays that border on old games played on real hardware. The fact he even bothered to go that extra mile is very telling about how much he is dedicated to the preservation of light gun games. Anyway, keep on rocking, folks. Thank you, Sil, that, that was massive. Uh... <laughs> Can we just stop shooting our monitors? <laughs> I, I, I don't know fair question uh, who had light guns growing up Canada's too nice would you have a light hockey stick no I didn't have I don't know. <laughs> so I, I mean like there, there were light, guards, light guns in our arcades like I'd play Time Crisis and like House of the Dead and shit um, mm. but like I, I I had the Saturn light gun for House of the Dead and Virtual I, Pop I, <laughs> by the by my parents were very very anti-gun and by the time i got a console i was like more into like shoot uh rpgs and stuff like that so i never really ended up playing like house of the dead or any of the ones that required the playstation light guns which were you know playstation light guns i had hogan's uh alley i think he like shot people Hogan, hogan's alley yeah i think yeah. that sounds right that sounds legit that, that was my entirety of it. That was a very unused peripheral because I don't know how many games the NES had. That well, that. that was the thing. If you bought the NES originally on release, it came with the light gun. What? Because with the duck hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. was two player, by the way. Yeah, you could control my the duck. cousin had uh, an NES with duck hunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. And, and and then there was like the fuck you Super Nintendo light gun that was like a straight up shoulder mounted. Yeah, right. It <laughs> yeah. was the bazooka. They're like, oh, it's perfectly normal. What's it for? Golf. Um, yeah. <laughs> Power glove, baby. Power glove. Cool, man. Thanks for sending that in. That's interesting. I don't know, man. Pew, pew, pew at the monitors. Uh, that is legitimately a real issue, though, because there's no oh, yeah. way yeah. to uh, really track that. So, <laughs> But on the, on the bright side, your dog can watch TV now. So This is true. 60 <laughs> Yeah. Last but I, not least, man. I read this as 
Tar- Tarnia, but it's Tarina. Tarina? Tarnia? <laughs> and have you been to the oh man, Miss, you went, you, Mr. You, Tumnus! Mr. You went Tumnus, to the wrong I have a wardrobe. business proposition for you. This isn't Narnia, <laughs> this is Tarnia. Yeah. This is it's an entirely different closet I need to come out of. Hi there, my name is Tarnia Redacted. I work for a few brands who occasionally like to advertise on podcasts like ours. And I'd love to include you on my list of options. Do you work with brand sponsors at all? We only take so- sponsorships from two companies, Fleshlight and Microsoft. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> and so far, none of them have offered. So this hundred yeah. percent, man. Uh, no, we get these <laughs> not, we probably get about four or five of these offers a year. I thought I'd throw one in because this has been like one of the less egregious ones. Okay. Like, like we would like. This was to, just a question. It's like, the, yes, I'm person. I do PR things. Dude, do you want the, a sponsor? The other ones are like, yo, we'll give you some money. Could you just talk? Not, and it's completely unrelated. Should like hold this up during your talk about this during the podcast, and we'll give like go fuck yourself. Yeah. That's why yeah, we just, have Patreon because you know what? We love our patrons, but most importantly, they let us not have to. And this has been brought to you by, you know. Mm-hmm. We, we again. We we will accept sponsorship deals for Microsoft and Flashlight. I will straight up take Microsoft's money, baby. I I will, yeah. I, I will show up with my clippy T shirt on. Services. I, I will I will eat a boxed copy of Windows ninety five. Live. Dude, <laughs> dude, we 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 will, we will do an entire show on the Xbox One Series S, like streamed from the Series S. <laughs> Balancing on them. Oh, yeah. Xbox still some beautiful people. It's not going to get any worse than that. Definitely not any better. So I do believe it is time. Take care of the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Uh, if you are one of those beautiful party patrons making this show possible, loud, live, and most importantly, commercial-free, come join us in Discord for audio. Participate in the pretty, pretty super shows. And we also get a custom RSS feed. If you want to listen to it after the fact, scream at me at Vin Stone on Twitter or at Vin at mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm there. I'm square. And that's Jordan. I'm Jordan. My segments were brought to you by Potato. <laughs> potato. You can find out more about Potato at The Burning Fool on Twitter or at mast.linuxgamecast.com. I'm at Frojo. Shit. Is there a dot potato? There is now. There is now, yes. Uh, so I am Peter Mateusz, and you can find me on Twitter at Unaccounted4, because that that that's the last bit of uh, social medias that I'm on. If you ever go away, Twitter, I'm not on the internet anymore. <laughs> Warm Rip Twitter. Mateus, man. That, I don't know. Es, es, Esteban Travallo! <laughs> Esteban! <laughs> damn it. Okay. Thank you. We love you. Die to fire. Here's some credits. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll pee on your carpet. Drip drip bark. Chaotic puppy. Oh man, we're we're a week away <laughs> from uh, having to duck Star Wars spoilers. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> um, gotta gotta Art thank Theron, our Theron, Foxy, Mr. Fox Atomic, Mike G, Barbara, Aldis, Hoplo, Mackie, and Scott. Scoot. Now the producers. Scoot. Like Jupiter Broadcasting, All Deventor, the Mike, Rono, Lutris, uh, Colin, Ryan, Ertain, System T, Master Dark, the Douglas, other Jordan, the Rohit. other Pablo, <laughs> Asimoni, <laughs> Zoe, uh, Ma- oh, dog. Gonzo, Gonzo 2000, Belkirk, Sherry Linda, Week, Linda Kylenix, Nova, James, <laughs> got to add Carl, Carl, <laughs> Nova we love King. you. Oh, shit. Right. We, we got, oh. we got. Oh, we, we There's still no fun. dawn in that We're, picture. Time travel. Fra- Frank is, is still catfishing us. Oh no, he doesn't look like anything like his Tinder pics do. I got to I got to do the fuck wall thing. I haven't made up my mind. But I think yes. I am. <laughs> Frank needs to walk away in shame because he's holding the old, yeah. old Listen, <laughs> fuck wall. If, if, if he wants time travel, he can. It's not, but he can do it on his personal time. Fair point. Wait. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> ah, bye. Deal with it. <laughs> More rug pissing. More rug pissing. <laughs>
We learned pressing the Windows button accidentally on a keyboard doesn't affect the anything. That's good. We just learned well, unless unless you have it bound to something, I don't think Super does much. Uh, on XFC, it doesn't. Uh, on <laughs> on GNOME, GNOME it, it puts up the yeah, it puts up the HUD. On KDE, it opens the menu like it does in Windows. And what about Rat Poison? What does it do? I don't know. <laughs> it's been a long time maybe. since I last used Rat Poison. <laughs> okay, let's let's see how this worked with all of the UDP nightmares going directly from Jackbox to. And while you discuss network diagnostics, I'm gonna go grab a smoke. Sweet. <laughs> yes. That's it, just like right. Okay, what do you think you got, Pedro? You're going through the router. Mind you, a good router. I'm going. I'm going through the router. I don't, what, are we, what are we counting? Uh, Next runs. They're like X runs, but with an N. Okay, Uh, N so e. I got zero. You got zero? You theoretically should have more because you're going through the router. I don't know. <laughs> Pedro's going with under. <laughs> yes, I'm going with the lowest. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. None. So if you're wondering, a router board can handle the UDP throughput of one. Yes, <laughs> just the one. No issues whatsoever. <laughs> it's just when you throw two streams, which is four channels of... Well, it's eight channels total between these two boxes and Jackbox over the network. It gets squirrely as fuck. Yeah, because <laughs> it's constant. <laughs> it's always on, but that's how you get that not 0.6 milliseconds of latency from Pedro making a noise going over the network, going into Audacity, not Audacity, Audor, Getting mixed, getting processed, coming back out, and landing in your ear holes. Is that always on connection? So, that's neat. Cool. The experiment yep. worked. <laughs> and uh, to the fine folks in Discord going on about um, Windows key locks, you can't really see it, but yeah, that um, icon there below the Windows icon, that's a lock. What? Which, if you hit the uh, ozone key, ozone dragster, one, <laughs> it uh, it will then lock the Windows key out of um, anything. It just won't work anymore. I don't. And I need to clean this keyboard. <laughs> I have like dual layer function keys. You see these little yep. bullshit chiclets up the top? That, that that's your function keys up here, kids. It is the most <laughs> unsatisfying and confused. Also, this this side goes to F five, so you know that's confusing <laughs> when you give it the Vulcan nerve pinch. Yeah, <laughs> very unsatisfying because these keys are good, you know, the pressy things, but this is like clicky, like what you would expect from like a little chiclet button. But it looks like a Romulan warbird. And that's the only reason we bought it. <laughs> if it's a tinker toy nightmare. <laughs> Man, I'm just waiting for the Well, actually, that's more resembling of him. <laughs> it would be more of a Klingon bird of prey if it had a uh, prehensile uh, erection. Mm. Thing. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe a BSG uh, toaster ship. I, Battlestar Galactica is that one that I've never seen. <laughs> you, you haven't watched the, uh, man, that's like not watching Breaking Bad. I watched Breaking Bad. <laughs> Dude, Galactica was hotness back in the day.
Vote.linuxgamecast.com. Oh, yes. Crack cola. Ooh, I got a spider hanging from the ceiling. Neat. He looks delicious. <laughs> oh, I didn't need him. He was low carb. <laughs> Crack cola. Esteban Trabajos. Voltron de cocaína. <laughs> Truck <laughs> 5 is armed and dangerous. Ooh. <laughs> Man, you know what? I, I don't I don't know if uh, Frank's ever tried to tank it with a spider. <laughs> don't blame him, man. You never know what you're going to get in the spider. <laughs> No, that's great, especially when you find like a really big spider in your backyard and you're like seven and oh. you squish it and then mm. you lift your foot and a ton of teeny tiny little white spiders rush out. It's like bonus spiders. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I learned. You leave spiders well the fuck alone. <laughs> I love spiders. I go, man. I go, glue them. That, that's like one insect. I'm like, yeah, spider bro. Cool. I I don't mind spiders, but yeah, I have that uh, thing of squishing one and then the hundreds of teeny tiny little spiders. Like, oh, that's why people are afraid of them. Well, that little right. microscopic spider bro wouldn't have seen unless it was right in front of the monitor. <laughs> so I just carefully... Went down, set him down on the desk, just so I didn't end up with. Because I would, I don't have a problem with him. It's like, go forth, and if there's a bug <laughs> in my house, take it out, son. Um, what I don't want is face spider. Yes, <laughs> it's adorable. I want like ten of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the usually if I see a spider on the bathroom, it's, I'll ignore it. It's like, oh hey, you're eating mosquitoes. You're doing good. <laughs> and then Nori goes into the bathroom. It's like, there's a spider. It's like, fine. Okay. <laughs> you don't right, want some educational I'll content? pick it up. Outside. There we go. <laughs> oh, you missed it. This was me going, fuck. I need a bigger screwdriver. <laughs> we got a couple of these that are stitched together. <laughs> oh, shit. I got audio. <laughs> Hands. <laughs> Hands. This, this is inside. This is, uh, this is Jordan's box. That's what's in there. All kind of stuff. That's Jackbox. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> There's Jackbox on the floor. It didn't go as planned. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's an adventure that was recorded. Oh. What do you got for me, Twitter? <laughs> Wonder if what somebody wants to give us a video game, Pedro. <laughs> Someone wants to give us a video game. Nico Ghost, jump. It's UE4, and that's kind of brave. Where switching perspectives is the key to victory, so it's, um, Fez. Let's go investigate. <laughs> Neko ghost jump. Oh, Psychedelic kitties. <sighs> that looks like Unity. <laughs> it's Unreal Engine. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah no, it's kind of impressive, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't know Unreal could look that bad. It takes that. Right. It takes skill. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Is that uh, showing parallax scrolling? I don't know. This is also something they're like, look. It's like, oh, he's asking you if it should be on Linux. All right, okay. Some video of the damn game. All right. Uh, 
that? Oh, so it's it's like the oh, last Oh, it's doing Mar the near a tomato thing. All right. Well, yeah, or the Mario thing. <laughs> or the Mario thing, uh, yeah. 2D3. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> do, you, do you like your meow with drugs? Man, with... <laughs> Jeez, we get we get ghost jump. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we officially have three subnets in the studio. <laughs> Between four computers, that's where it gets impressive. That was. Once I was calmed down after Jackbox started working again, it's setting up a uh, dual port Nix under Linux, as one would expect. You know, you open the box. 10G Tech, you're awesome, by the way. That's not paid. Feel free to give us money, but the first ones I ordered, uh, I get a delivery confirmation, to which. Uh, it's like, oh, that's neat. Uh, hmm. Let me... So, yes, they've been delivered. And I scroll and like, to Pennsylvania. Yeah, what? <laughs> Last I checked. Went outside and I'm like, no, doesn't look very Pennsylvania-y. Hmm. Maybe something else is up. So then, then I went like, you know, I got the E... Because I ordered from... E if you're getting 10G tech, why would you get 10G tech? Because they actually ship Intel Silicon on their networking gear. And they're cheap-ish. I mean, these things are still like $26 a piece, but they're like $5 cheaper than they do. And it's their store on eBay too. And their store on Amazon is like 5 or $6 more. But even when you order from eBay, it ships from their Amazon store. That got confusing, trust me. Because <laughs> I got the... Uh, UPS, USPS, like text notification anytime a package is headed to my house. I don't do one for my rental. That's where just like web stuff shows up and I get calls like, yo, you got a package. I say, I'll go pick it up. But then I get, it's like, it came from Amazon. It's like, I, what? I didn't order anything from Amazon. Then finally put 2013. Anyway, the package that ended up in Pennsylvania that night, which was Thursday, I was like, yo, I sent them an email that went to Hong Kong or whatever. And broken English back and like, uh, sorry, that was our fault. Something happened. Somebody enjoy your three dual Nick Intel cards that showed up. <laughs> like, we'll make it good. We'll track it. And, you know, less than 24 hours later, it was at my doorstep. The correct package. Still holding out. Hope I'm going to get three more. <laughs> That package from Pennsylvania will find its way home. I don't know what I'd do with three more. That I probably will end up getting three more. Because <laughs> that's kind of a purpose-built device. You know, you don't order a dual port Nick unless... I mean, if it landed um, at the home of someone who's even remotely into, like, futzing around with stuff... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, ooh, dual nicks. Nice. <laughs> but we'll go in a PCIe by one slot, too. Yep. That's the hard mode. Yeah, if it landed on the home of someone who really doesn't give a damn, it's like, what the hell? This well, isn't for me. <laughs> Pennsylvania, this is like, well, we have some new ice scrapers. <laughs> Where is Pennsylvania on the map? <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> Let's see. In between New York and Maryland. East Coast. So, yeah, it's a little bit off. <laughs> yeah, basically there they it missed it by Virginia. Uh, Maryland, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and then the, you get to Georgia. <laughs> well, okay, here's the good laugh. It's shipped out of Florida. 
Oh, so <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> they told all of this nonsense to just fuck off and get them. <laughs> Pennsylvania to Ottawa. Yeah, but my first shipment of uh, network cards is somewhere around an hour. <laughs> Close <laughs> to you, actually. Nah, yeah, I, can, I can just jump over and pick them up. That was the uh, first salvo that they sent me that ended up in Pennsylvania. <laughs> ah, the, and it, it's, it's doing the rounds. It's going back and forth and back and forth. But they came from the Florida, ship. so they went <laughs> right over that. Gee, yeah, you got to love it. Like It's more cost effective if we just ship them this way. Uh, no, these these actually were delivered to Pennsylvania. The oh second <laughs> set they sent me from Florida again made it in less than twenty four hours. How, how do is there in Athens, Pennsylvania? No, because <laughs> like I, 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 you know what? They're not. There's they're an not Athens, Ohio. They're not like close on the keyboard. But oh, I and there's an like, Athens, G-A-P-A. Greece. There's an Athens in Greece too. I learned yeah. that. Apparently, there's an Athens, Tennessee. I did not know that. Athens, Alabama. <laughs> that sounds that's like a vet... danger zone, right, man? I don't know about you know, that. Oh, you know, that that's where we should do like the first LGC live show is Athens, Alabama. <laughs> okay, I'll just go there dressed as Santa Claus in like the dead of summer. Dude. Oh, look, look, dead in the middle of Athens. We'll near it. Dog. We'll, we'll, <laughs> oh, oh, oh Super shit. Center. <laughs> oh, man. All, all hail the. We need to do it from the Walmart. The, from the Walmart in Athens, Alabama. Give me the street view. Wait. You, you gotta drag the little dude. The yellow little dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shoe department, Aldi. Yeah, I like Aldi's. What's an Aldi look like in Athens? Uh, in what? Athens, Alabama. You gotta drop it on the road. No. Boop. Yay. Lots uh, uh, of trucks. Car truck? center. <laughs> trucks Ted's and Mustangs. Car center. <laughs> Ted, Ted's car center. Ted's car net. We, Shit, uh, man. We, we have SUVs, we're, we're, trucks, we're, and we're, a Mustang. We're, Let's go. We're, we're here. I think that might be Ted's Mustang. Oh, no. Oh, shit. shit. This is the one. Oh, oh shit. Inside. Oh, someone right. inside. <laughs> okay. Creeping. All right. Next level creeps. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, have that, I genuinely have that monitor. <laughs> uh, can we go? Into, can we go into the bathroom? This is like some next level shit. I did not know Google Maps could do this. Oh, you didn't? No, I've never gone Certain inside a businesses, building. Businesses, yeah, they'll do it. They'll let it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus it's Christ! Entertainment centers, uh, but to be desired. Yeah. Because, like, my I didn't I didn't know that. So my thought process was like. Via the myriad of people who have like taken selfies here or like taken photos in and around this area, they're able to like composite together <laughs> inside. But I think that might be a little too advanced for Google. Oh, there is an Athens <laughs> PA. Shit, damn it! We gotta get to Aldi's. We're on a mission. Uh, uh, we're on a mission to Aldi's. Fuck! I can't get to Toyoga. Aldi's. This game sucks. All right. Yeah, I think you need to go back to the map and go to the other road. <laughs> no, I can see the Aldi's. <laughs> We'll fit. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna use science. I'm gonna science my fucking way. Let me go this way. Damn it! Oh, there's a you ghost get, car like, there. You I can think just you need to get like, like on the road a and wheel then you can move across it the road. Won't let me. I, I'm trapped. Oh no! Has virtual reality gone too, too far? far. <laughs> let me. Did, yes. Nope. This, this is this is the true nightmare with the HTC Vive. <laughs> is you just end up at a fucking truck dealership in Athens, Alabama, and you're stuck there forever. <laughs> there, well, there's Hotel California and truck dealership Alabama. Can I only do, do Vins only check in? <laughs> you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave. Let me, let me <sighs> Free me of this trucky nightmare. As as the song goes, we're all just prisoners here of our own device. And that device appears to be an Acer monitor. Let me out. <laughs> now yep, now nope, I, 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 not I, I I have I, I have a solution for you, is if you scroll out of Street View and then reposition yourself. That might be admitting defeat. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I said. Just drag the little dude to the Aldi's on the other road up top. <laughs> how do I... How do I drag? 
It's, it's been... I fucking there there there's like a Google or an Apple car that drove by me the other day. I'm like shit. <laughs> Well, you can just hit the left arrow next to where it says American Marketing and Publishing. <laughs> Get me to the Aldi's. Get me to the Aldi's. Get me to the Aldi's. <laughs> that doesn't look like Aldi's. Not much, Brad. I mean, it looks like the... It looks just like a, like a small neighborhood, I guess. Okay. Actually, oh, wait, you're slightly off. Okay. <laughs> we can fuck with this. We can get to Elvis. Yeah. We, we, we're, we're, we're going on a drive. Dude, yeah, we yeah. Should, we should, we're going to all uh, these kids. We're going to all these kids. Pe Pe Pedro, Pedro, I have, I, have, I have an idea for a stream that you could host multiple people in. That wouldn't be terrible. <laughs> ah. you, do, you, do, you do like Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator, and it's just like Pedro takes you on a car ride, the live stream. Is all these? <laughs> yeah, I just let me. Let me let you... That could work, yeah. <laughs> and like, things. you get people in Discord, and then you just tell them bullshit stories, and be like, "No, you're stuck with me in this car." And then we're gonna listen to my <laughs> terrible music. <laughs> and of course, you'd have to like go on Free Music Archive and like find some shit. That you <laughs> yeah. Really okay, Aldis, I'm getting in your parking lot. I mean, this this. <laughs> I don't think you can. Fuck, it's fuck, not fuck, letting fuck, you. fuck Rocket League, man. This is this is the true shit. This is the Dark Souls of Google Maps. It's getting to that all of these. It's, it's principle, man. Well, there's uh, Ted's uh, truck stop thing. Ted, <laughs> all right, go fuck yourself. Um, I'm on the road now. Ted, Ted's just like you'll be back someday. You'll need a truck, and I'll be there laughing. Wait. Okay, that picture is from a different year. A little bit, okay. <laughs> and now we're back to current. Oh, All right. <laughs> you, you know, you know what that you know what that might mean is that that thing doesn't exist anymore. Mm. I'm lost. Okay, you see, we should be able to like. God damn it! Damn it, Google Maps. <laughs> is where are we even gonna buy it? All these pantyhose. I don't know, man. I'm creeping on it though. I got this. <laughs> Oh, you went around the other side. Yeah. Right. Oh, they didn't go in. <laughs> Don't worry, I can still creep. Uh, zoom. Mm, yes. Enhance. Hello, I see you, person. <laughs> Food market. Trying to hide. <laughs> Shifty ass oldies. Not letting <laughs> Google trucks in. Let's get post box too, bitch. Oh, yeah, no, there's totally like some dude on the roof with a sniper rifle. He sees the Google truck and he just gives him a shot. <laughs> nope. Uh, Athens, Alabama. We're crazy. It's Athens, Alabama, Aldi's. right? Like, so <laughs> there are a lot of guns in Alabama. I'm just saying. There's also that. <laughs> oh, like there's I said, a, some Japanese porn happening there. <laughs> like I said, there Not, are a lot of oh, guns wait, in Alabama. <laughs> 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 Good Cheat job, code. Google. <laughs> Chase. <laughs> now you see it. Now you still can kind of fucking see it. Um, sort of, yeah. <laughs> where we get the? <laughs> I I want to believe that there's something far more dubious going on than. So here's here's a question. <laughs> no. <laughs> how 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 much how much do you think uh, how much do you think these guys get paid to just fucking drive around every single? Like street and parking lot. How, how much do you think that pays? I oh, will go ahead and tell you this. Like, if I didn't like have anything else going on in my life, I would so fucking do it if it was enough to live off on. Yeah. Just drive. Just get in a car with a 360 camera mounted on the top and drive. Hey, Jordan, when was the last time you went to the. <laughs> Kid smart home accents. <laughs> Kid Kids smart, smart slash you home can get accents. Children and home accents. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I got. It. All right, all right. C San Al. What are you trying to say, kids? They need help, Jordan. We need to rest. How do we decrypt C Sun Al say? C Sun Al Athens Kit. Sale. God damn it! Now we gotta go to there. This game's weird, man. <laughs> Fucking hit. Uh, this is the real ARG right here. Yeah. Holy hell! Oh. Wow. 
<laughs> wow. Hang on. Happy better. 2020. Edit. <laughs> okay. We, edit. We, we, don't, we, we, uh, we have to allow JavaScript from editmysite.com. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. <laughs> I mean, that still looks like Comic yeah, Sans. <laughs> hey, we were just there. <laughs> Oh, it's near the KFC, Taco Bell, Burger King, and D and J. Oh, hey, we've been there too, fuckos. Yeah, um, it's not just kid stuff. Often a, imitated, never oh, duplicated. Dude, take a peek inside. No, that that that's. I don't think that's what that image from Wikipedia is trying to convey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that just inspires me. Like, oh hey. no, no, we 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 got we got we got to use their contact form, man. We gotta, dude, that, oh man, the, the whole thing is in Comic Sans. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hey, Facebook users, do a <laughs> video walkthrough and take a peek at what's inside. Are you really going to get All the wall great things that are priced to sell. Let me in. Boo. Damn it. We are denied the video walkthrough from Facebook. <laughs> well, I mean, that difficulty to log into Facebook. I have no idea what the username and password is for other account. <laughs> like I said, difficulty log into Facebook. <laughs> What does drop off mean? Shit, that means that question had to be clarified at some point. Um, I guess that hey, means kid. enough people walked in through the door and asked. Okay, Left their so child. when you say drop off, okay, children, what right? do you mean? There's an orphanage. <laughs> ah, boop. Oh, oh, that, that explains the police. Uh, kid smart at GM. What the? F okay, now what's GMX? <laughs> GMX.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, so if the last one was the '90s, what the hell's this? In order to this enable web 2.0, like, baby. Uh, web 2.0. Okay, you can have my data. Just tell me what you is. Uh, I'm Paris. I'm sports. Uh, I'm a car. I think, I think it's just like a like a domain squat, right? Like about here probably. <laughs> it's an email service. Okay. Gmail. Facts and figures. It's an email service with it's, its own built-in spam. <laughs> Ludwig Jan. Okay, it's in Montobar. Where's Montobar? We're going to figure this is out. It, is it in <laughs> Alabama? Uh, it's Germany. <laughs> no, no, there might be more than one Montobar. Montobar. <laughs> okay. The German spam company. <laughs> Montabar, <What> Alabama. <laughs> oh. This is going to lead to some Illuminati shit, isn't it? Like, this is going to be like pictures of like rich people molesting children. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself there. That's said it again. <laughs> that, what, a, what a brave and controversial statement, Pedro. <laughs> So brave. All right. <laughs> See, educational. <laughs> yes, educational. <laughs> Let's go with that. And by this, we can determine that next week's lottery numbers are going to be 12, <laughs> 19, 37, mm -hmm. and 2. Okay. After shows and boop. What a, what what an emotional roller coaster that was. We went on an adventure together. We were trapped in an alternate dimension for a while. Virtual reality <laughs> attempted to destroy us, but we prevailed. No, that's a great. Dude. Just Oh, no now I'm thinking about the statistical improbability of like how I'm there in front of that fucking store and the broken vehicle. I'm like, really? <laughs> oh come and, on! No, and, 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 really? and, and, be and better yet, some guy comes out and he's like, "I saw your, se I recognize you. I saw your segment on my business. I don't mm. take kindly to that." Turns out there's a force field in all these. Like, really? Ah, you're Vin from Linux Gamecast. <laughs> come inside. Fan. We've been expecting you. Oh fuck no! Blam. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's first time inside a building on Google Maps, huh? Walk. Yeah, I wasn't yes, aware we you could do that. Jordan's cherry in that particular mm. respect. That's Jordan's creep cherry has been broken. 
Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's a that's a different that's a different. I mean, I mean, I got I gotta go change my underwear now, but yep. uh, yeah, I don't I don't feel I'm too much different. <laughs> Except now I know that in some cases you can go inside a building in Google Maps. If you're sharing an ability, I'm going to use exactly hours. zero times in the future. Aw, oh, come on, Jordan. You can come inside my house. I'm not been inside your house. <laughs> yeah, by all means, read read some more into that. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Great. Hmm. I'm glad the network thing um did good. Patrons did good, so that means that works. Cool. This pleases Zathras. <laughs> no one gives a shit about Zathras. And apparently not, man. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, Zathras is used to being treated as a beast of burden. Good! That fucking kick Zathras in the nuts. Which one? Uh, that's the thing, I don't care. They're they're all equally worthless to me. Zathras is infinite, baby. Yeah, it, it, it's not even worth my time to fucking consider which Zathras I'm physically You go solving. to the kid's store in Alabama, behind the register, Zathras. <laughs> yeah, be like, motherfucker, I told you to stay the hell away from me. And he's all like, well, that's your Zath ass. <laughs> Can Zath ass use a gun? Also, Google image search Zath ass. Mm. Zath. <laughs> Zath ass? You know what? I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Too curious. Zath ass. Thank okay. you, Tinji uh, Tech. This is all your fault. All right, all right. The, 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 there's a Facebook post by a dude named for when Zath Arabians. Um, what's what's image search? Let's see. It's Fortnite. It's, it's, of course, it's Fortnite. <laughs> it's always fucking Fortnite. Right, oh, give and me a minute. And oh, and, man, and, man. and okay, okay. Here, 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 here. Here's what I can give you. This is the only thing that comes out of Zafas. Sexy pizza. <laughs> That's it. Mm. Well, fine. I guess I'll clap for you. Okay. Yeah, no. No. Nope. No, Pedro, Pedro's not back yet. We can't ask him. <laughs> no, man. So... My, my, my money's on yes. Yeah, I don't know. But what do you, <laughs> baby hands? Baby hands on sticks. Yeah. So you can put them in those little pigtails and wave them around. Oh, you could eat with them. You could. You could use them like chopsticks. You ever try to eat with baby hands? It's rough, baby. I, I mean, I, I, as a baby, I must have at one point or another <laughs> attempted. Un un unless, like, I don't know, my parents were completely insane and like physically restrained me as a baby. They could have given you like little baby hooks. Little baby stilts, like little no, baby gravity no, claws. Oh, dude, like for children, like children pirate hooks, I, like for infants, it'd be great. New product. Yeah. Comes with the eye patch. A peg like two, just in case. I mean, the, <laughs> just in case. They, they lost mm. one. They might lose another. They already have hooks. Complete the package. Yeah. Whole sailing ship. Some scurvy. All you gotta do is drink pine tea, man. Pine tea. Man. Modern society, it would be a fucko to try to, like, be that devoid of, like, vitamin C or anything. Wouldn't it? I, you know, I genuinely don't think it's that hard. Um, keep in mind that, like, actually suffering from scurvy takes months. So, like, it's not, it's not a fast process. Um, well, even being that, like, deficient, because I was thinking, I don't take a multivitamin, but then you start looking up, like, things you eat regularly, like, um, cabbage. I eat a, I eat a lot of spinach. I eat oranges. Yeah. Greenery. Red peppers. Uh, like, a single red pepper has, like, 100% of your daily vitamin C requirement. Mm hmm Yeah. The, like, I, I've even toned down, like, the amount of 
the cabbage and shit I eat because of the vitamin A in it. And it's like, I don't want to go blind. That can be a no. problem. Yes, uh, you can get vitamin A poisoning. As it turns out, vitamin A, not great for your eyes. Really not... great for disguising the fact that you have radar. Oh, man, free radar? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. If you, all you got to do is eat, like, a ton of carrots and get, like, vitamin C poisoning, so you have to improve your hearing in order to navigate, like, Daredevil. So, when did that myth first start that that was carrots were good for your eyes? I think that was World War One. Was it? I thought it was a World War. I wasn't... Yeah, the, 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 the first. Was it two? I would put money on two. Pedro, where do you land on the... Perpetuation uh, of the uh, carrots being good for your eyes, myth. I guess it was. I guess it was World War Two. World War Two. I like carrots. I just like how they taste. I don't really care about supposed uh, health benefits. Mm. I just like carrots. I, I, I mean, I think Ven and I are on the same yeah, page. Yeah, carrots when it comes can get carrots. fucked unless you boil them and I'll tolerate it. Yeah, put them in a soup. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, no. I'm gonna I, stew I, it next to some hobbits. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll say pickle carrots and eat them. Pickled <laughs> carrots, like sliced really, really thin on a bun, me is nice. The only thing I'm uh, going to do with a raw carrot is try to stab your ass with it for giving me a raw carrot. Um, what's up, Doc? <laughs> I like raw carrots. I, I will straight up just wash a raw carrot and eat it. <laughs> Good job. Man, you, you rebel. Would you, would you stick a carrot up your butt? For money? It or depends just like, on how much money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's an open-ended question. Like, if I'm just hanging out around the house? No, probably not. <laughs> I mean, I have been bored. At points in my life. Listen, that's why I threw the probably qualifier on it. It's like, probably not. Um, <laughs> just not ruling things out, man. <laughs> the eyes don't even form in the mother. If the mother is totally A deficient. What if she's a A plus deficient? <laughs> actually. I like the actually. Yeah. Nice touch. Yeah, nice I touch. don't even form if the mother is totally A deficient while pregnant. Oh, vitamin A deficient. Okay, right. Nope, just A deficient. Deficient. <laughs> deficient mothery here. It's A deficient. <laughs> Listen, don't, you need don't, at least don't. three deficients. Listen, man, you, you, gotta, you gotta be really harsh if you're gonna call a deficient mom. It's hard to force another human out of your crotch. <laughs> what if it was a... Um, Greek god style birthing process. Then you're, a, you are Zeus, mm -hmm. and I think you have other things to worry about if you are, in fact, Zeus. Splitting headache. And you're like a swan and trying to get it on with humans? Well, I mean, <laughs> Zeus turns into many things. He turned into a cow once. Very, very surprising that it was ever successful considering how swans get it on with humans. Right. Very bitey animals. Well, listen, myths aren't the full story, right? Like, I'm just saying, dude, every time I, I, I've been attacked by a swan, and it's been more than once, I'm, it's always with the, listen here, folks, everybody's watching you, you can't choke the swan out. Like, um, You can't just grab the swan by the neck and go... Yeah, you, no, you can't do that second part. Like, you already have it by the no. neck by the time you're like, all right, everyone's watching. Mm, skip it across the lake. There. I feel a little better. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> a little more animal friendly than that, but the general. But I mean, variety. like they're 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 fucking dinosaurs, is what they are. Dinosaurs are assholes, man. Yeah, right. I've seen right? Jurassic Park. They're just dicks. Blank spaghetti monster help you if you encounter a goose on your journey. Oh man, they're all over the place in like Richmond Hill, where I used to work. They just be like. Walking on the sidewalk, shitting everywhere. <laughs> and like, they'd be all clustered up. So if you got too close, like, they'd swarm you. And then you'd be like, no. I don't want to fucking have to kick a bunch of geese to death. Especially because it's illegal wait, to kill wait, them. Wait, wait, Don. Hold on. Uh, Don, does that actually work if you boop a swan on the nose with a rolled up newspaper? That's a good way to get cut. That's yeah. kind of cut you, man. Pull out a switchblade. Fuck you up. Swans don't have noses? Nah, but they got switchblades. Well, I mean, they, they, got, they got nostrils in their beaks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now what Scott gets done with him. <laughs> Scott, what do you do? What do you do, Scott? It's illegal. Man. <laughs> it's the law. Beak noses. Oh, we had the Muppets. We had Beaker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was that, cool. That could have been worse. <laughs> yeah. 
That was actually really nice. <laughs> Beaker. Beep, 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 beep. I, you know what? You know what I wanted to see? I wanted to see like in the Untitled Goose game, like someone just fucking go after Beaker and start wailing on him. Because that's <laughs> that's like the Beaker joke. Is he just gets fucked up? I want goes, to like, like <laughs> the Untitled Goose game to like just get like a pentagram made of found objects and unlock some hidden level shit. Like get, goat like, simulator? Yeah, so dude, goat, yeah, get the demon goat, the demon <laughs> geese. Yeah, you, you just gotta kill and sacrifice all the cultists. Man, it wasn't Earth. until last year that I learned that the gander was like, oh, so that's why they say good for the goose, good for the gander. Yeah. Male, female. Woof. Did you see the Muppets? Oh, yeah, 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 Donham. Yes, I did. <laughs> Versus Chef Rent. No. Yeah, that was... <laughs> That was pretty hilarious. <laughs> Man, being a Muppeteer has got to be a pretty sweet gig, if only because you just get to fuck with people. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. So would you rather fun. be a Muppeteer or an idiot sandwich? <laughs> I think I would be a Muppeteer. Hmm. I don't want to be an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I saw how the Big Bird was operated, and I was like, that dude spent 40 years in a contortion device. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they ever let him out. <laughs> it's like it's, no, they they kept Kenny Baker and R two D two forever. Oh, oh, but the thing was ripe at the end of filming. I mean, a little ripe at least. I mean, there. I think there were several of them. <laughs> no, how many Kennys? I can imagine after a moment? single day of filming as Big Bird, you really don't want to go back into the costume. <laughs> Not, not okay. Imagine if you just had like some like stupid high like voyeuristic urges and like watching shit through that little monitor like did it for you though. So this whole time, Big Bird was just a massive creeper. It's like mm. <laughs> so. I, I I know I know for a fact that you can you can get degrees in theater tech, and one of those degrees can be like puppeteering. Creeping. So like shit, man. Someone went to school for that, and like that's what they want to do. Fair enough. Yeah. More power to him. All right, we're going to play some rocket cars. I'm going to get a refill of my super sour, yes. not sweet drink, and we will get into what is a little bit of tradition. We got a, we got about 30 Some minutes. hoops. Some rocket no-go reset sweet. hoops. Fine. With uh, like big ball hoops. Ultra high gravity. I, and, I and, yeah, but the big ball unwinnable hoops that just like they will go in the net and then never. <laughs> it goes in the net, it touches the ground, bounces back up. No goal. <laughs> Especially considering some goals in just regular Rocket League are like, oh, it grazed the net. Blam! I mean, it wouldn't, you know, actually actively um, make hoops any worse if they made the, like, the hoops a little bit higher so that the big ball could actually, you know, go in. <laughs> How did MX Linux make it to the top of DistroWatch? I've heard the name, but what is MX Linux? It's a uh, Debian based using XFC as the default. It's like supposed to be super lightweight, looks good. Yeah, Pedro, it's based off of Antics. But it's oh, a little okay. heavier. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. And uh, uh, for a while, a lot of the people on um, Big Daddy Linux and um, Jupiter Broadcasting were talking about it. So I think that's that's why it's had so much uh, well, that'll do press. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the put, popularity uh... tracker in Distro Watch is like a uh, number of clicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right but it's like it's a significant amount 
It, Mint was in first place for a long, long time, and that like distribution is broken by default. <laughs> How is it broken? Have you tried using it? Yes. Not recently. Yeah. <laughs> well, th oh, I haven't I... tried using it recently, but... Uh... There were a couple of episodes like of Linux Gamecast that I was using it, and I was constantly fighting with shit breaking every single week. <laughs> listen, I every, listen. We're, we're all we're all gonna sit here and bitch about our favorite or least favorite distros. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. The it's, moral it's of the story. A good purpose. The the moral of the story is: if you're not building Linux from scratch, you are a scrub, and you should just cut your feet off. <laughs> well, I use Pop OS, so I'm a noob. Yeah, go cut your feet off. <laughs> take, yeah, take a big old knife. Don't M, exactly. start, start carving them yeah, off. It, it, MX Linux is used a lot in the educational sector because it works on all, uh, older systems. And so I installed be so true. Zorin XFC on my wife's like old 2009 MacBook, and it actually works really well. Oh, Whenever nice. I hear Zorin, I think of the Helsing character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was popular because it did not use systemd. All right, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, systemd is the devil. Well, it just it works better on older hardware, and so that's kind of what it's aimed at. <laughs> so when can we start calling it uh, GNU <laughs> slash systemd? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's going to be systemd slash systemd slash systemd. <laughs> it's because all applications in user space <laughs> will be. <systemd. laughs> Systemd will be the machine learning algorithm that consumes all other machines and no, becomes man. like the overmind. <laughs> what, we, what we need is DRM. Systemd. Oh man, could you imagine commercial boot up boot, boot up Systemd? Please provide a license key. Jesus yep. Christ, that's what I'm talking about. Please <laughs> enter your DRM. Oh, uh, your I mean, I mean suppo supposedly that's Windows 11. <laughs> Supposedly. Uh, no, uh, Microsoft, well, then again, it's Mi Microsoft is like, we'll never release, we'll, it'll always be, which is smart to, you know, go the OS X thing of like, it's always OS ten. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're not really hoping to get many upgrade fees at this day and age. No, charging money for an operating system is a kind of a dying art. Yeah, you sell people ads through the operating system, and that's how you make money. Or, or you do a Microsoft, and you sell them the license to the operating system, and you still put ads in their goddamn face. <laughs> yeah, baby. Anywhere we can. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm kind of on team of just like, I'll just deal with the D at this point. I mean... Oh, I love the D. It's... Yeah, the D, D's nice, you know, when, when it's not like, you know, just like pounding you. Anytime you have to fuck with the D, though. What what was it? Oh, man, I was messing around with the D bus. Mmm, giggity. What's up? Um, <laughs> But sometimes you have to. You, sometimes you have to get. You have to restart the D. I had to crawl up a second in time. the D bus, man. And uh, <laughs> the I finally got it. But yeah, that, I, that was my one thought. I was like, I, I have no issues with System D unless I ever have to fuck with it. Period. At all. <laughs> yes, I fought the D and the D won. Dude, <laughs> honestly, D always wins. I, I I I took the half an hour to learn what I need to do to like convert. It. Old init scripts into unit files. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. It works. I can live with it, but I'd rather not, unless forced to. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. Like I said, uh, up until I was trying to get Jack started without X, and ultimately the solution was just recompile Jack from source <laughs> and disable Dbus. I was like, okay, that's kind of a nuke option, but. <laughs> mm. I guess technically that'll work. <laughs> yeah, if I need to add like custom um, scripts to run at some point that I need it to be compliant with system D, I just enable um, the RC local 
system D service and then just drop everything I need to run into RC local. It's like there, there we go. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> I mean, read, writing unit files isn't bad. Honestly, if you do it through a tool like Ansible or whatever, it's just like whatever. It's exactly the same as managing any other service. Yeah, like we said, both in the pre uh, pre show, we're uh, starting again to Ansible where we're. At. Oh, just using like configuration syntax is fantastic. It's so good. You do it once, and then you never have to do it again until they update an update releases a breaking change, or they change the syntax on you, or <laughs> any of the other things you have to yeah. do to maintain infrastructure code. it's great trying to at least putting forth the pretense of trying to be diligent about like using the supported methods of doing things it's overrated because, because like you, you, you'll 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 get the you'll you'll get that nice run where like all the warnings are just gone and then three months later new ones for no fucking reason <laughs> all right who wants in Sound up, Alan. I guess Mr. Alert wants in. Anyway. Scott. Mr. Alert. Okay, we got Alan, we got Pennywise. And a topic. And Scott. <laughs> and then there's Jerry. Jerry. What about Frank? When when's Frank gonna play Rocket League with us? And Frank's always <laughs> playing Rocket League. He's my coach. Rocket cars. Oh man, that's like super pink and fluffy. I suppose. That's... <laughs> oh, Van, did you finally change your car? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> then who is I'm... that? Oh, okay. I want to say Alan. <laughs> he always has like super fucked up cars because he has all the yeah. shit. <laughs> um, chainsaw? Who's the chainsaw? Alan? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. Sounds legit. Right. He's good warm up match. <laughs> Warm up. Warm up. Three on three. Warm. Yeah, let's do three on three. Uh, let's not do four on four where everyone gets a dumb butt. <laughs> the simultaneously <laughs> idiotic yet hyper capable bot. Yeah. <laughs> it's not drop shot, Scott. Calm down. I'm setting things up. It's hoops. <laughs> There's no goal reset. <laughs> <laughs> and giant balls, giant hoops. Wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is overlapping hoops. <laughs> they go all the way out to midfield. <laughs> the balls a hoop. The cars are hoops. Everything's a hoop. Everything. The crowd's hoops. <laughs> Damn it, empty. Oh, it's the detached goals one. <laughs> all right, Pedro, rep, rep. We'll get you in on next and, one, empty. Uh, Pennywise. All right, yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> You can watch us fail during the warm-up. <laughs> mm, uh, I don't like it being over me. <laughs> Back the other way. Ah. I was trying. What the hell? Oh, hello, Bill. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everything's terrible. You missed that. I saw that Pennywise. Oh, yeah. yeah, Pennywise. Hot damn. No! <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Good. Coming back. Coming back across. Pennywise, what are you doing? Gonna... <laughs> why did you? Sh why would you put it in that direction? Alan, you tried, buddy. 
Das Gott saved it. <laughs> ah, God damn it. <laughs> and then it goes around the back again. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it so it just goes around the back. That's how you're supposed to play this map, right? <laughs> Where if you have the camera following oh, the ball, it just completely fucks it up. Lazy bounce head. So I can talk shit. Come on. Uh -huh. Get out of here. <laughs> Fuck you, part two, kind of. We had no uh, one in goal. So. Can't make it there in time. Go Pennywise, go, go! Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, yeah. That was that wasn't heading in. Yes! That's oh, oh, no. get the Very fuck out of here. Very good. God damn it. <laughs> I know that didn't help things, but technically didn't hurt. So, win-win? Why not? Oh, I'll take it. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, Pennywise, didn't see you there. <laughs> Old man Ben! Doesn't have no boost. Go, Pennywise! Here, I'll be their goalie. <laughs> we'll confuse them. Yeah, sure. That's how that works. That is how that works, dude. You gotta read the release notes. Patch notes. Nope, Ow. release notes. That's right. Knock it the fuck right back over. Let me boop it in. <laughs> Come on. Do it. I hate the I hate this camera angle hype anyways. Do it. Oh, you're 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 you're, you're, you're provo mobile. Everyone's okay. scared of it? <laughs> Everyone's scared of it, yeah. No one wants it. no one wants to fuck with that, huh? Oh, I mean, should have stayed. I mean, the still. second the second I leave, someone's gonna knock it in net. So I'm I'm staying here because apparently no one on this no one no one who plays this game has any concept of defense except for me. I just I'm just terrible at it. Uh. Hate this. I hate this. I mean, this I goal can, is the worst. That I, can, you I can see through time. <laughs> I can taste the Oops. sun. Ah, that didn't work. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> and around the back it goes again. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh god, make it stop. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Ah. My anxiety. <laughs> All right, Alan, get out there and fuck it up. We need a point. Got one minute left. <laughs> I'm done driving around in circles. Fuck it up, Alan. Uh. Fuck it up, Alan. Go. Oh, go. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh. Sandbagging the whole time. I'm just humoring Give my old ass. Gate. But uh, no. Yeah. Oh, cause actually it wasn't this as well. I did get I did get a save for that, but he got the rebounds. Yeah. <laughs> he went right back for it. <laughs> I did what I could. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> Just off to the side. <laughs> Ooh, you missed. Go Alan. Fuck it up, Alan. Dude, boops. Fuck it up, Alan. Oh. oh, no, I fucked it up. <laughs> I hate this map. <laughs> Do you just, just, like, find one thing in every game? You're like, ah, rah, rah, rah. Yep, Absolutely. I hate it. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. Yep. <laughs> Scott, Aww, you pulled that one out of your it? ass. Nice. Com complaining <laughs> makes me feel better about sucking. That's, that's, that's the secret. <laughs> I have not tried Rocket League and Proton. Pennywise almost got me on that one, though. <laughs> Mm, that was good. Boom. Power through. Mm. Alan, <laughs> shake and bake. Nope. I got no boost. I got no boost, but I'm still gonna run into Pedro. Ah, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I missed. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it would have been better with boost. I mean, it would have been at least more explodey. <laughs> <sighs> when, 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 ah. oh man. I tied with Alan. Holy shit. Dude. Yep. 
You did good. <laughs> you had two saves. I had no saves, no shots, no goals, no assists, and I still scored better than Pennywise. <laughs> I mean, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Scott. That's because I'm terrible. <laughs> Clearly. We're all terrible, Pennywise. That's the thing. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. All right, we got an empty. Do we got one more? It's, it's an invite to Rohit, so he's got exactly eight seconds. Where's the Wi Fi? Seriously, I, I'd spend more time joining the game. Version mismatch. Version mismatch. Update your game. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> mm. All that time. Atomic, yes. Atomic, I guess. Yeah. Boom. Okay. <laughs> nope. Man, swinging a miss on that one. Um. He nine. Whenever Rohit gets his uh, game update, I can swap out with him. Quit but, being uh, so I'll Canadian. Keep playing until then. <laughs> Stop! Stop yeah, engineering you're, you're Canadian standoffs. <laughs> no, Scott is the sole reason that that stereotype exists. <laughs> Scott and his sister. Oh, oh Scott! I didn't hear that. What? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I'll watch a recording. <laughs> this is how we get the YouTube ad money, baby. Like, oh, I can't tell you, man. Scott. Oh, Scott, the, the, the short gist of it is, is you're as nice as I am. <laughs> no. Who the Wait, fuck accused you of being nice, young lady? <laughs> oh, Jill, nice look at Jill taking Jill all the credit oh, for no, that dude, I, you, you gotta respect Jill. Just like, no one just said that, but hey, by the way. <laughs> Kick ass. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you hide the whips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pedro, it's you, me, and Pennywise. Again. Okay, same team again, but this time with Atomic. <laughs> yes. All right, spiky bullshit. Spike. With Tiny Puck. You're a Tiny, tiny Puck? puck? <laughs> no, it's not a Tiny Puck. It's just going to look. It's okay, an optical so illusion. I think oh, man. our goalie just brain, tore the fuck off. So. My brain is still adjusting to the goals being, you know, inside the walls. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Atomic, do you want me on? Just hide behind them. No, 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 yes. no. Oh, oh, come on, I hit that. <laughs> mm. Clean, clean. He scooted that one right up and poof. We got it. He jumped. <laughs> And he jump. Go out. <laughs> that, uh, team slap fight. Boom. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. What are the gravity on higher than I do? Hmm. Damn shame. Oh no. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> come on, man. Ah! <laughs> Oh, boo. Oh, All right, almost. I'm going. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm Take going for down. it. Take him down. Take him down. Ah, out of bed. Out of bed. Oh. Ah, I, I tried. Go Pennywise. Go Pennywise. Oh, oh, no. Sorry, Ellen. Oh, oh, God damn it. I'm in. I exploded like I died. Exploding. <laughs> oh, ah, God damn it. Hi, Jordan. Fuck Dang. you, Ben. <laughs> Go Pennywise! Stupid of No! Shit! Ah. <laughs> go, go, go ask, go ask, go ask! Atomic! Yes! Oh. Yeah. I'll take the assist! Dude, <laughs> Atomic RNG'd his ass into that one. Boop. Oh, whoop, no! Oh man, it was a pass! <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, a physical pass, but okay. I'll, I'll take it. Ellen touched <laughs> him, but it was too late. <laughs> Bad touch, bad touch. Nothing but wall. Remember in the good days when you couldn't see through the goal? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have right. invisible walls down the sides. It's God. <laughs> uh, oh, I had nothing to do with that one. I killed him, but I couldn't get to the puck in time. <laughs> ah. I made progress. <laughs> yes, lads. everyone Empty. missed it. Go, Jordan. Go, go. No, I hit it. Yes. Was oh, oh. You donks. <laughs> donks. The dunk a donks. <laughs> Dunk a dunk a dunk, gonk gonk. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan! Ah, that was amazing. <laughs> that was it's that vertical. was so good. That was so <laughs> good. That is that some great awesome. horse shit. That That's island. lovely. No, quit crying. You're uh, awesome, Jordan. <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah! Look at that. That was Alan, terrible. You tried, buddy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Oh, come on, I touched that puck. Ah, yes. damn it! The spikes Stop. didn't come out in time. <laughs> ah, I tried. Boom. Oh, no, Juke. I touched you, apparently. Spin. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All right. That looks slightly different on my screen, but whatevs. <laughs> I, th I thought I had enough time to, like, spawn the spikes and get it. I was, I was trying to save them. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I am too. God! <laughs> yes! Whoa, whoa. Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. Someone touched me and I blew them up. <laughs> and I couldn't Boop. see anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Pennywise. Very good. C -c -c Combo <laughs> nice Pennywise. Keep awesome. doing it. Keep doing it. Alright. Asses on that. Alan, what the fuck was that? Do you like. <laughs> I've never seen anybody trip on the way to the goal. <laughs> <laughs> go Pennywise! Go, 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 uh, go, go! Ah, uh, you had an empty goal for a second there. <laughs> go, Jordan! Uh, <laughs> oh, Alan! No. Uh, oh, man, that was... No, don't boop me! <laughs> I need to get to the other side! <laughs> ah, got a free! Shiza. <laughs> Uh, this is a panic rush. Seriously, uh, my team booped me out of the way. You deserved it. Someone kill Alan! <laughs> yes! Uh, Night. Back in the game. The fuck? EA Sports all up in this shit. X Games. Uh. What? Oh man. That was... That was just unfortunate. What the fuck? We had two people in the that, that fuck fucked up. What the fuck was that? I don't know, man. That was... Oh, that was some bullshit. Mm. <laughs> Getting all quiet. Shit yeah, so did I, Atomic. So did I. Oh, hell. Missed. <laughs> ah, damn it. Scott. Kill him. Kill oh, that fool. I can't catch. <laughs> oh. It's Boom. my match. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. That was unfortunate. I thought I fucked that it up. Actually, but... uh, the way the puck was uh, spiked on me, it actually was screwing with my steering as well. Yeah. yeah. It's that, that, so that, that's bad. The, that's the risk with spiky bullshit, though. Is like, sometimes you yep. catch it and it just completely <laughs> screws you up. Alive, Mr. Alert. <laughs> this is why this is like Hello. pure chaos plateau. <laughs> this is the chaos peninsula. This is the chaos <laughs> archipelago, man. Oh, oh no. Collection okay. of small chaos islands. <laughs> chaos, Amazon chaos as a service. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Uh, Alan, poof. <laughs> Ow. Eat it! Eat shit! It in. Yes! No. Oh. Ah. Damn it! Ah. <laughs> After I like beautifully murdered Alan too. Orange is back me his on the belly. menu, boys. <laughs> I, I, I fuck it. I fu he showed me his belly and I just slapped him right on it. it was so right. good. <laughs> belly rubs. <laughs> so what you're saying is never seen oh. in the towel room of the gym. Yep. Nipple bellies. <laughs> purple purple nerps. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. There we go. Uh, 
Jeez. Grandpa. <laughs> Damn it. Mr. Alert. There we go. Fuck. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Twitchy, but it still worked. It's anyone's game. Fuck. <laughs> anyone's game. Fuck. Calm down, coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing I ah! tried to do. I... No. Oh. <laughs> Shit, keep it away now. <laughs> keep it away, keep it away, keep it Don't. away now. Ah, <laughs> fuck. Yes. Uh. <sighs> God damn it. Fuck you all. Guys, when I'm the best scoring guy on our team twice in a row, we oh. have problems. It's hockey. <laughs> it is hockey. <laughs> Man, this is a shame Rohit could enjoy this this afternoon. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bounce, so, uh... Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I guess we're gonna have to play with a bot. Alright. <laughs> man, fuck this game. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Of course, I'm gonna stick around just in case he can't actually join. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm Canadian, okay, okay, but I'm not that Canadian. <laughs> Don't worry. I got my money on internet outage or just straight up computer crash. You you you'll end up having a Windows update halfway through. Give me a minute. Let jammers. me just get a refill. No. Yeah. Oh, are you only allowed to play games of the weekend now? Is that how married life is rolling? Oh. <laughs> chuck chuck. Hmm? About 12 seconds on stream delay. All right. Ooh, this is quite bitter. I like it. Definitely less playing. Yeah, yeah. It's a concession. People willingly choose to pick. <laughs> With me and Steve, it's kind of the opposite. <laughs> That's because you ignore each other. You've been together 20 years. It's a partnership <laughs> of convenience. <laughs> um, all right. Let, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that man. Um, <laughs> hmm. 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 Mm. Oh, yes. Welcome back to Linux ASMR cast. Hey man, we do have ASMR <laughs> in our <laughs> Twitch. Oh. You're welcome. Because <laughs> eventually we're just going to do a stream where all three of us sit and we chew on bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it sounds amazing. It will be. I'm in. Pop, pop. Squish, 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 pop, pop. <laughs> I'll fuck up some bubble wrap. But we'll find out. Find out who has the toxic slice. All right. <laughs> oh, <minimum> four. Uh, <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you fuckery in its purest <laughs> form. All right, spring loaded, the, super high grab, the soup bowl. <laughs> and low bouncy. Alright. Jump ball. <laughs> low bouncy, big ball. 
<laughs> no, no jump. Super slow. high graph. No jumpy. <laughs> no jumpy. I'll just sit up here and watch what I've done. <laughs> I'm not sure what you have. I'm not sure what any of this accomplishes. You effectively have to drive this thing up the ramp. I, I don't missed. think there's any. <laughs> the ball is giant. How did I miss? <laughs> Wow. I just keep getting exploded. I, I, I saw that swing and a miss. It's not gonna make it up here. I'm not worried. Get a little worried. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I oh. lost it. Sorry, Mr. Alert. <laughs> Did not mean to get in your way. <laughs> I like how the high gravity is... makes the boot do nothing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, I'm not 100% the ball fits in the gold either, so there's that. It should. It should. If it's on the ground. I don't know if we'll be testing that theory this evening. Um. <laughs> oh, come on, Rohit. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot the stupid high boost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Hi, Pennywise. Um. Ah, damn it. What the hell? Where did that glove come from? <laughs> Boing. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that one. That one, however, was not me. <laughs> Did you uh, the, Tommy the ball is giant how i got it why Dude, do i keep missing it i'll tell you exactly what it is it's your uh, reptilian avoidance mechanism <laughs> it is like you get you start heading towards something your brain's like dodge <laughs> it's subconscious bullshit to you you know what boop <laughs> Dang. I toast would have had that too. <laughs> I atomic. Uh, oh, good bit. Uh, that was a nice boop. Uh, Worst kind of boop. Almost fucked it up. There, I saved it. I mean, in my defense, you guys <laughs> did not manage to get a goal with me on the other side of the field. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I can rest somewhat knowing that. <laughs> I, I <drove. laughs> <I'll go>. No! <laughs> Alright, gotta ditch the boot. <gasps> yes! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Post mortem, too! <laughs> you kinda went full fat Albert there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Nice Pedro. That yeah, really just good. go in. I'll snap go you in, in a swim gym. <laughs> what the fuck are you <laughs> winning? <laughs> this is how Pedro feeds himself when hey, he's watching. Hey, hey. Same thing. Hey, this is how he masturbates. Yeah, like, you can tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> masticate, masturbate, come on. <laughs> yes, that's Same how thing. I masticate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, not this way. No, not this way. What are you oh, doing? No. Yeah. Damn it. Yes. Back Did on the take board. A break I got from your mastication. I got board, blown baby. up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ran into pity was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you had that. I mean, you were aimed in the correct direction. <laughs> well, that's not going to do any good. Everybody blows up! <laughs> I just wanted to look at it up close. That was it. I, I lived, bitch. <laughs> well, I didn't, bitch. Oh, no, boy. <laughs> Let's I get didn't. on a plane to Florida. <laughs> do you want a soul bond? So slut. <laughs> Oh, come on, empty! Bleed here, and bleed here. <laughs> Alright, Pennywise, is mm. this a dance we're doing? 
Hey man, he's easily amused. It very well could be. <laughs> uh -huh. No! <laughs> oh, no, I died. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. <laughs> I was about to readjust myself, and I'm like, oh, nope. nope. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that. Sharing <laughs> is caring. <laughs> Singing. <laughs> Singing. Hi, Atomic. <laughs> No! Baby shark. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My eye powers come. No. Well, hey, he's still one. <laughs> Yay! Somehow as MVP. <laughs> I did better than the atomic ass, so mm. I'm happy. Oh, I did. Not and Betty Y still got more points than I did. <laughs> Gravity is a harsh uh, mistress. Gravity. <laughs> oh. No escaping? Gravity? Does anyone else watch Ad Astra? No? All right. Brad, Brad Pitt in space. Space Pitt? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Curious is what Jordan's focused on so immediately after the game. He's like, <laughs> honestly, titties. All oh, right, <laughs> bird watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bird watching. <laughs> you know, from a certain point of view. Yeah. All right. Hey. <laughs> yes, Alan. Huh? Do, do, do you, you want to dance Sorry, in this conversation? No. Let's go. That, mm. No, that that that's okay. No, <laughs> it's the power of titties. Uh, oh, that'd be good. That would be good. And hmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, we're going to be playing the final match of this evening. There's ha humming. <laughs> there will be nothing holy about this except for the floor. <laughs> uh, that, that's how Chop Shot works. Not with us a lot. I mean, it takes a bit. <laughs> Fair. Fair. The floor is, Fair. floor is pretty fucking safe. <laughs> So it begins. It's the beginning of the end. It's the beginning. Of the end. This is the begin. My only friend. <laughs> oh shit, it's oh, Team LGC. Team LGC. Mm. <laughs> and Wi Fi. <laughs> Hold Wi Fi joining in. That Wi Fi's got a better ping than I do. Hold my Wi Fi, yeah. I'm going in. Right now. Give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a second. <laughs> Yay, Rohit. Jeez, why did I do this? Is that super high bounce? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yay! At least there's no rumble to like, make it fucking infinite loop. Here it oh comes. shit, there is. I spoke too <laughs> there soon. is. Yes, there is. <laughs> Damn it. Whoa. Doink. Super Bowl! <laughs> <laughs> so oh, chasers. Jeez. Boy, Man, I, I launched that like a fucking hour ago. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> bullshit. Wait. Oh, <laughs> this, now it's the wrong color bullshit. Oh. It's bouncy and very densely packed. 
<laughs> I want it to touch the floor. That's it. That's yeah. all I want. <laughs> touch the bolt. <laughs> Good job, Pedro. That's all we can hope for. Oh god. This is gonna be insane. Yeah, if I touch bit. the ball, I have full power. <laughs> Insane into prey! <laughs> I think that counts. Man, I'm giving this auto track camera a fucking workout. There so. we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> ha! Touch ball. Touch it! Yes! <laughs> oh! Pennywise. And what's this magnet gonna do? Fuck all, that's what. <laughs> drive under. It's gonna make me sparkle for a minute. That's all this magnet's good for. <laughs> oh! Oh hell! Oh, oh did, yes! Did, did it touch? <laughs> yeah, oh, did. that was going in too. <laughs> <laughs> hey! No! It's a bad ball. <laughs> Whoa! Shit! Oh. Ah. <laughs> I was trying to figure out where to go, and then it just... <sighs> yeah, that, that was a death bounce. It would have been no saving that. Yeah. <laughs> bang! Bang! <laughs> there was nothing but bounce. In space, no one can hear you bounce. Oh. No! No! <laughs> no! Ah, there. Yes! Oh, very good, Ben. <laughs> You have to be very careful. I will drive around that pole multiple times. <laughs> I mean, if need be, man. I mean. Ah, <laughs> fucked it up. There we go. Wait. Oh, yes. that dealt a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I got a save for that. Okay. That didn't go as planned. Hey, it's back. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes! 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 yes. Frojo! Frojo! <laughs> I think that was Alan. Nope. Boop! Jordan touched it, and then Alan booped it. Yep. <laughs> it set it up, though. That's, that's the important thing. I still claim victory. Yeah, if it was Alan, Alan would be talking mad shit by now. <laughs> I mean, everyone's not mother with would've. an own goal, but yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, yes, fuck you all. <laughs> Blue balls. Ah, no, I'm dead. Mm. That's got a big hole now. Oh, that would be hard, but what if you only had three lives? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yeah. yeah wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it would. It would make murdering the other teammates more strategic, right? Because it means right? that. Uh, <laughs> Ah! I'll take it. I will. Ah! I had the take it attachment too. Ah, guess. <laughs> Who the hell touched it? <laughs> right. Oh no! I don't. No! <laughs> what? No! Oh. oh no! I killed everyone! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Did? <laughs> yeah! Come back this way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> ah! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, ah, shit. oh. Uh, there's uh, uh. spiky bullshit. Spiky bullshit. No, uh. no spiky bullshit. <laughs> there was an effort made. It's an emotional roller coaster of bouncy bullshit. No. Atomic. I had the spikes for a hot second. I was so impressed with myself. Like, Atomic yes. was literally not doing anything. <laughs> That's the best win, though, isn't it? Like, what'd you do? Uh -huh. One. That's what I did. I fucking won. <laughs> RN Jesus is my favorite superhero. Take the wheel! <laughs> <That poor boy. laughs> Stop. I, I can wait. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And oh shit. science! Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Wasn't far enough over the net. Okay. All day game. All day. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That, wait. Doinky doinky. God damn it. 
I believe I can fly. Yes! Woo, Big fuck you woo. hole. Big fuck you hole. Ah. Oh. <laughs> More big fuck you holes. <laughs> ah, damn it. I thought I was going to drop it into one of the other holes, but it didn't. Uh, we need more holes. Come on, Orange Jesus. Yes! 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 <laughs> I did not think that would go in, but whoop! <laughs> this is why you always have to go Yay! out swinging, man. Pedro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially with bouncy bullshit. You never know. This time, it's for real. <laughs> oh, no. I exploded. <laughs> Over time. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the real game, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a death bounce happening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tried. You oh. couldn't see. Oh. The camera oh. fucked me. Oh. Bounce oh. and bounce oh. and bounce. And <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I tried. Listen, you moldy cookie. <laughs> that raw watermelon is super traumatized. I did better than Rohit. I did better than the guy on Wi Fi. I feel good about myself. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh yeah, since we didn't have Foxy this uh, this week, I am the one with the worst, just the worst ping. Mm. That's You're insane. the one with the worst as well. Yes, dude, you gotta be. I'm the one, one with the worst. The worst. <laughs> he he brought it. Hmm? No, all right, fuck you all. Uh. <laughs> mm. That's right, when Jordan's hair makes this sound, Boing. It's, it's, it's time to <laughs> piece the fuck out of here, kids. Um, yeah. Hi, YouTube. It makes sense. <laughs> I'm being facetious this is totally not for kids. Children, air quotes. Right. <laughs> Adult kids. Look at all these cartoon characters in child friendly imagery, right? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right, <laughs> Frank? Our not children attracted mascot. What? I don't know, man. That's between you anatomically and Frank. correct skeleton. Yay! <laughs> Atomic <laughs> is correct as a skeleton. Beautiful people, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us on this nightmare train, this four-hour rock block of insanity and bizarre, bizarre. Exhibits of humanity, disparity, and other things that end with E and Y and O. <laughs> Shit. Sometimes Y. Everybody hanging out with us live? We got Jill, Mir, uh, Mr. Alert, Pennywise, mm -hmm. Rohit, Atomic, and all you other beautiful people. Don with his aluminium foil. We gotta bounce out of here. We will see you next week. But mm -hmm. until then, Pedro, what are we doing Tuesday? What are you doing Tuesday? I Morrowind. will give you three guesses. Morrowind. <laughs> Yes. Morrowind. <laughs> more Owind. Purple monkey more. <laughs> more open MW. Yes. More that, that's what you should call the series. More Owind. <laughs> that, that would require. <laughs> that would imply flatulence and uh, yeah, let's not go there. Ability to name I, shit. I mean, I've I've watched your stream. I know how it smells. That that would be some shit, man. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Died if I have one. Bye. We love you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Buy our shit. Give us money. <laughs> Start up.